There are three easy steps in creating your resume link. Let me show you how. Step 1. Register Go to www.jobs180.com using any browser and click register now. Fill out all the information needed. In choosing your resume link, use your full name so that it looks professional and it's easy to recall by potential employers. For example, Antonio Juan de la Cruz at jobs180.com. Step 2 Create and Design. When creating your resume, make sure to complete your personal information and upload your profile picture. One of the highlights of the resume link is the portfolio section. In the portfolio section, you can show off your skills by uploading samples of your work like documents, pictures, videos, and your social media links. Your resume link also features different themes and you can upload a cover photo. This is a combination of a cover letter and a social network cover photo. Here is an example. You can also download a copy of your resume link and print it. Step 3. Apply for a job. There are many ways to apply with your resume link. First is browsing the job recommendations in your Jobs180 dashboard. If you are qualified, click Submit Resume Link. So what are you waiting for? Dress up your next generation resume, stand out brightly among the competitive job seekers in the market, and win the heart of your future employers using Resume Link. The clinical trial market as we know it is about to change. We're revolutionizing the current state aligned to disparate, slow and often manual processes. Optum's vision is to transform the drug development process to one that is centered and grounded in real-world patient behavior and physician practice. Optum's ability to access this unique network and fold in the strongest data and analytics expertise will enable us to jointly bring life-saving drugs to the patients who need it most. Join us in this partnership to bring our shared vision for real-time, real-world healthcare research for real patients.
mga kababayan ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ang isang kapwa tawag ko'y tatungkay na 
Good morning, everybody. This time around, I'm sure, naka-on na yung mic ko. Sorry kanina, no, when we started. So, welcome to Jobs180.com's Marketing Me Live at Don Mariano Marcos Memorial State University. Uh, today, we will be joined by speakers from Task Us, CDO Foodsphere, VXI, and Inspiro. Now, earlier, we already played the videos uh, and the uh, national anthem, so we can move forward now to our program. Uh, before that, let me greet everyone a happy new year. I hope everyone is in uh, better health. Alam ko marami sa inyo uh, nakaka-experience ng uh, medyo hindi maganda. So I hope we keep our hopes high, our prayers, and uh, be safe. No? So my name, by the way, is Kim Chua. Don't forget yung wa. Baka Kim Chua lang maalala nyo. And I will be your host for today. Yan. So we are also live at Facebook and YouTube. You can check us out there. We hope that everybody is excited to learn new things. Now, to officially start uh, today's uh, program, may we invite uh, the prof uh, may we invite uh, Professor Maria Elena V. Milan, the Program Coordinator, uh, Humanities and Social Sciences Department for, of uh, College of Arts and Sciences, and for her opening message. Ma'am Milan, you are, your, the floor is yours. Take it away. Thank you, Sir Kim Chua. Good morning, graduating class of DIMSU 2022. In behalf of our Dean in the College of Arts and Sciences, Dr. Raquel Kiambao, I would like to thank and congratulate the organizers of this job hunting webinar series um, in the care of Professor Cecil Sanchez of the Guidance and Counseling Unit in partnership with jobs180.com. Thank you, dear students, for finding time to join us in today's event. This is already the second session of this job hunting program, and we maintain the objective of equipping you, our dear students, with skills such as communication and top skills that will make companies and agencies want you for this job. We also want to help you stay positive, not in COVID, of course, but in your overall well-being, helping you to be productive and healthy as you perform your soon-to-do tasks. We hope that this webinar will help you to land the job, hopefully your dream job, after you graduate in our university and transition in the new normal world of work. I would like to encourage each and every one to pay attention at the lectures prepared by our capable and competent speakers and express your questions and thoughts during the question and answer version. Lastly, as you start planning and searching for your job later on, dedicate your plans to the Lord. Tell him your longings and your dreams. In Proverbs 16.3, it says, Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and all your plans will succeed. May our good Lord bless you all. Happy webinar, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for, for that, Ma Milan, for the warm message. So let's proceed to our program. Now, for the audience today, please comment your name, your year and course, and if you have any questions, please type it on the comment section okay so later we can uh, we can ask that those questions sa mga speakers natin okay now don't forget also to tag and share this to your friends so, wala pa sila dito eh tawagin niyo na okay kasi magsisimula na tayo okay so here's our schedule for today ano ba ang mga topics natin these are the topics that we will be talking about the first one will be about communication skills so we invited uh, someone from task us to do this then the next uh, will be for uh, top skills companies are looking for when they are hiring. Yan, kailangan nyo yan malaman. Okay? Para sa uh, magsispeaker naman sa atin mamaya ay from CDO Foodsphere. The third topic will be the new normal world of work, uh, care of uh, VXI. And the last topic is for mental health check. Kasi this will be from Inspiro. So you'd like to learn a lot of things. Sabi nga ni Ma Milan, listen to the lectures. You will learn a lot. Okay? So again, palala ko lang no, sa mga audience na nandito na. Shout out to all of you. Uh, good job. 
Maaga kayo, early bird. So marami kayong matututunan kaagad. Now for those uh, who are already here, please comment your name, your year and course dito po sa chat. Uh, and then as we go along, if you have any questions, anything that you think that you'd like to ask, related man or walang relate dun sa topic na pinag-uusapan, syempre mas maganda kung related. No? You can uh, put it there and, and we'll check it out later. We're going to ask those questions sa mga invited speakers natin. Okay, huwag kayong mahiya. This is your chance to ask. Okay? Hindi naman kayo ilalagay sa live, eh, di ba? Sa chat lang. So, this is your chance to ask. Okay? Whatever you want to ask, put it there. Alright. So, simulan na natin. Kilalanin natin ang una nating invited speaker. Our first speaker for communication skills is Miss Sherry Aquino. So, Sherry Aquino is from Task Us and she has over 9 years of experience as a sourcing professional in the BPO and shared services industry. Currently, Ms. Sherry is the Sourcing Manager for Task Us Philippines University Relations. Okay? Let's all welcome Ma'am Sherry Aquino. Yan. Hi, Ma'am Sherry! Hi, Kim! Hi, everyone! Hi. Good morning! <laughs> so, you know the drill, Ma'am. I will uh, let you uh, share your screen. And then uh, once it is up, we're going to give you the, the floor. So let, let's check lang. Kumusta po kayo, Ma'am Sherry? How's uh, how are you feeling today? <laughs> okay naman, no. I hope everyone is also safe uh, now that there's another surge of COVID and daming <laughs> and daming nag positive, but I really hope our students are uh, officials also coming from Dimsu as well as Jobs 180 and uh, the rest of uh, the viewers here. I really hope we're all safe and uh, mahaya natin to. <laughs> yes, kakayanin natin to. <laughs> kakayanin natin to. All right. So, Ma'am Sherry, I can see your screen right now. I will leave you to it. Uh, you have 20 minutes for your topic, and then I'll see you later for the Q&A. All right? Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. All right. So, again, good morning, everyone. It's a pleasant Friday to meet you all. And uh, today, we're talking about uh, the communication skills, no? uh, things you can improve or uh, tips that can help you uh, enhance your communication skills. But before that, uh, of course, we'd like to uh, present to you first who Task Us is and uh, before we proceed to the main topic of our event. Okay, so let me go ahead and discuss first who is Task Us. Uh, Task Us is a provider of outsourced digital services and next generation customer experience to innovative and disruptive technology companies helping its clients represent, protect, and grow their brands. So basically, Task Us, um, we are an outsourcing provider and mainly um, the clients we serve are those coming from the fastest growing sectors in the digital services world. Uh, so these are social media, e-commerce clients uh, from gaming, streaming media, food delivery, uh, ride sharing, high tech, fintech, and health tech. Uh, basically, these are clients that help us um, be more or have easy access to the things that uh, we normally do. Let's say, for example, the ride sharing. No? Um, another thing uh, we'd like to highlight is that Task Us is an equal opportunity employer. Of course, uh, we do not discriminate based on age or sex or gender. Uh, everyone is welcome to join Task Us, long as, of course, they're qualified uh, to, to join us based on the qualification set. Okay. Our mission, our mission is to empower people to deliver ridiculously uh, good innovation to the world's best companies. So <clears throat> when we say uh, empower people, we do this by providing our employees with the best benefits and programs that care for their overall uh, well-being. Of course, that includes mental health. And uh, we believe that if we take care of our employees uh, and teach them, of course, to take care of themselves, uh, they will do their best for the clients we serve. And as a matter of fact, we also have um, we also have a separate team uh, in Taskas who does uh, or who focuses on making sure that uh, the well-being of our employees are okay. You know? um, we have several activities and programs uh, to ensure that everyone is being taken care of and uh, that we are able to support them, uh, not just in their work, but also ment mentally or uh, psychologically. Okay, I have here a short video um, that would help us understand more about Tasca. So let me just play it real quick.
Taskus believes that achieving growth for our partners requires a culture of constant innovation with the aim of preserving the value of its people and clients. Exploring new technologies, being ready to handle any challenge at a moment's notice, and mastering consistency in an ever-changing world. These are what it takes to get there, and we are well equipped to do exactly that. Welcome to Taskus. Born as a five-member virtual assistant startup, we have now grown to become a globally recognized 30,000 plus strong organization that drives the rapid growth and transformation of the world's most innovative and disruptive brands by providing technology-enabled outsourcing solutions purpose-built for the digital economy. Driven by our people-first culture and philosophy, Tasca stands today as a global beacon for its employees and clients, a value we put above all else and has made us a shining example within and beyond the global outsourcing space. 20 servicing sites in eight countries across major lines of business and vertical markets. We are consistently recognized by the industry for our ridiculously good culture. We are guided by our core values, which highlights our strength and efficiency to truly differentiate ourselves as a true partner to both you and your customers. Reimagine the future, you and us, together. There you go. So that's... Uh quick video to share, you know, what Taskus is. But uh, so basically in the, vid in the video, we've showed you um, <clears throat> who Taskus is in our organization, um, as well as our core values. Um, we were able to show as well um, the, uh, the differences or how inclusive we are as an organization. Um, you may have seen uh, some events uh, that are related to LGBT community. So Taskus is very supportive uh, with that. And uh, we also have received awards, of course, no, which I will be showing you in our next slide. All right, so here are the awards uh, that task us has received in the past years. Um, we have received more than 100 prestigious awards reflecting our commitment to our employees, clients, and customers. Um, most notably, we have received a renewal of our platinum accreditation, which is the highest level of recognition from investors and people. Um, one more thing I'd like to highlight here is uh, we are uh, a receiver of an award, which is the best places to work. And uh, going back to our mission earlier, you know, we uh, empower people, um, take care of them so that they can serve our clients better. And I think uh, this award is really a proof of that, um, that our employees are happy. And um, of course, uh, we were able to give them uh, that right treatment that they deserve, making us one of the best places to work. Okay. Next slide is our Task Us Philippine sites. Uh, globally, Task Us has approximately 35,000 plus uh, teammates or employees across 23 locations globally. Uh, but here in the Philippines, we have nine sites uh, across the country. So here uh, you can see we have sites in La Union, Pampanga, Bulacan, Cavite, Batangas, Bohol. Uh, Rizal, BGC, and Quezon City. Of course, the closest one to Dimsu would be our La Union side, which we also call Lighthouse. Okay, next is I'll be showing you some photos of our um, of our offices so that uh, you can have a glance of it. And uh, the first photo is for our La Union side. Um, showing the surfboards, which La Union is very famous of. We also have Pampanga, uh, our Bulacan site, uh, which has uh, like a mini playground for our employees to relax. We also have Anonas Quezon City. Unfortunately, um, we do not have the photo. Uh, we have BGC. Okay. We also have our site in Imos Cavite, our site in Antipolo Rizal. Uh, our site in Batangas City, which is one of the newest sites we have, also showing um, the, the, the design of how 
uh, or in in what area Batangas is famous of. So of course the beaches, um, it's designed according to that. And lastly, we have our Tagbilaran Bohol site, which is a playground. And uh, just a fun fact, that playground um, is connecting the floor to our pantry so that our employees can easily have access to meals once it's their break time. So they can this they can just um, use the slide and then uh, they can go to the pantry that easy and uh, order their lunch meal. Okay, so now that you know about Task Us, uh, the sites, the awards we've received in the past years, we'd like to move forward and um, tackle the main topic of this event, which is uh, the essential communication skills for success. Um, so, of course, when you are when when you are in school, um, you know you are pressured to do your best so that you, of course, will have high scores um, and um, you have to be excellent, right? Uh, so that your transcript of records would, would be nice to see once uh, you've graduated. So with that, um, you might have an impression that, you know, once you start working, of course, you have to do your best. Um, you have to be excellent in what you do, which is definitely true. But uh, there are also another factor that you need to consider, which is your communication skills because being good with what you do there are two underlying situations right you can be good with what you do but your uh challenge in terms of communicating yourself or you can be good with what you do and you can communicate well so with that which scenario do you think would lead you more to success of course, the scenario too, because if you have challenges in communicating, um, it might be difficult for you to express yourself. Um, others might uh, think of your um, ideas the wrong way. You might have difficulties building relationships. And of course, the list goes on and on, right? But if uh, you, you have that good communication skills, you're able to deliver yourself, express yourself well, then um, you have a better luck in terms of um, having that career growth, career success that you're looking forward to after graduation. So uh, first, we'd like to um, make ourselves aware of what communication styles um, the person you're talking to may have. Okay, uh, We need to understand this uh, communication style so that um, we know or we we understand how to approach or how to deal with the person you are talking to. The first one is uh, passive. No, This is the first communication style. Passive communicators are more quiet and uh, they don't always express their true feelings. So I'm pretty sure you've experienced um, dealing with these types of people, you know, passive, aggressive, passive, aggressive, assertive. But yeah, focusing on the passive, uh, these people are more quiet. Um, they would like to be in a safe spot. That is why they do not really express their true feelings uh, to the person they're talking to. The next one is the aggressive type. So this one, medyo kabalik tala naman siya nung, nung passive, no? Um, for aggressive communicators, they are the complete opposite. And they uh, freely express themselves. Um, they know what to say. They know how to react in situations. However, aggressive communicators sometimes tend to be inconsiderate of how others would take their words. So um, that's the aggressive type. The next one is the passive-aggressive. Uh, for passive-aggressive, um, they do not communicate, but uh, they do not communicate clearly what their thoughts are. But with their actions, um, somehow it gives... Uh, the next person or the other person an impression of how they really feel. No? So for example, um, me, I do not agree with a certain conversation. I hold it to myself. I do not say it directly to the person I'm talking to. But in my actions, that person may notice that I'm disappointed or I'm upset. 
And uh, that's how passive-aggressive communicators are. So, yeah, that's it. The last one is the assertive type. Assertive communicators, on the other hand, are considerate, express themselves in clear and direct manner. And uh, they are also respectful no, uh, of how uh, they interact with others. So, for uh, the assertive type, um, I would say this is the right uh, communication style meant for work. No? But of course, people still have different communication styles. That's something we cannot control. But what I'm trying to say is, uh, if you are the assertive type, then ito yung tamang timpla uh, because you are being considerate with how others are uh, taking your words. And at the same time, you are expressive. Um, because... Uh, once you start working at work, um, it's very important that you express yourself clearly uh, because you have your objectives, you have your goals um, at work, and it's very important that the other people you're talking to understands um, why you feel that way or why you think that way. That is why it's very important that you express yourself clearly, uh, but still in a respectful manner. Okay, so now that you know the, the communication styles, I uh, would like to know also what are really these communication skills that could help us uh, you know, uh, to present ourselves well and deal with other people. So let me go to the next slide. <clears throat> All right, so the next uh, slide talks about empathy. Uh, this is the first skill that we have in uh, communications. And uh, when we say empathy, <clears throat> we define it as, you know, being able to put yourself in other shoes. Meaning, uh, you try to understand how they feel if you are in their situation, uh, which enables you to be, uh, to get a sense of, how you can help them. And uh, this is an essential communication skill in the workplace, especially uh, because um, for, for you to have that worthwhile conversation with someone, you need to understand why uh, they feel that way. And uh, that happens when you try to put yourself in their shoes. No? And under empathy, we have three uh, factors to consider. Number one is active listening. So, for active listening, of course, you have to pay close attention to the person you're talking to for you to understand what he or she is telling you about, right? Um, this is the first step. If you do not listen, then you won't have uh, an idea how to do the next steps, which is uh, being open, giving feedback, because you did not understand what the uh, statement really is. So, it's very important that you do active listening. Um, uh, so that you can proceed in having that good conversation. And another thing is it shows that you respect the other person. Imagine you're talking and you're, uh, the, the person listening to you or the person you're talking to is not listening to what you're saying. Um, of course, it appears rude, right? So uh, you want to show uh, to the person you're talking to that you're, you're really listening to what he or she is saying. Next step or next factor would be openness. Openness uh, is your best approach, uh, workplace communications um, with an open mind. Um, <clears throat> you should know that once you start working, um, not all might agree to your point of view. Okay, uh, because... Um, of course, every person has their own ideas and um, they have different perspectives uh, at work. So you have to make sure that you are open. You are open to their ideas. You have an open mind and uh, you're not just focusing on your own ideas, right? You have to understand why they uh, think this way and uh, why is it... Um, why is it different from my ideas? Um, but of course, if you have an open mind, um, that also shows that you respect them. And uh, that also gives you more um, <clears throat> point of view or perspective, um, understanding what uh, their thoughts are. <clears throat> okay, 
lastly, giving feedback. Okay, so if uh, you are a strong communicator, you should know that communication is a two-way street. And uh, strong communicators are able to provide and also accept feedback. Okay? At the end of the day, the goal of the feedback is for improvement and for betterment. So <clears throat> if, uh, for example, your coworker needs your help on a certain project, um, she's not confident with you know, the work he's done, and uh, uh, he's talking to you, of course, what you want to do to show empathy is first you listen, uh, understand what the situation is, hear his ideas, ask questions. No, that's how you empathize. Second, again, you are open to what he or she is saying. Um, you should not tell the person or dictate that person what he needs to do. Um, in, but instead, just be open to what he says. And uh, after that, you can give your feedback, you know, you can give your suggestions. Um, that's how you create a helpful conversation to uh, the other person you're talking to. And believe me when I say this, it's very important that you show this or that you demonstrate empathy um, once you start working because it's also a factor for you to build relationships with them. Um, you may be um, you may be an individual contributor, but that doesn't mean that um, you don't have to deal with other people in the organization. No? So you have to deal with them all the time. And uh, if you empathize with them, uh, that's a plus. And uh, that gives you better um, chances of building good relationships with them. Okay, the next slide talks about uh, presentation and public speaking. Of course, um, when you uh, when you start working, it's not all the time that you talk to them in a meeting or um, like face to face. Sometimes you also have to present and do public speaking. And a factor of that uh, would be you being confident and being persuasive to the person you're talking to. So. Um, when you do presentations or public speaking, it's important that you hook your audience immediately to garner interest. And again, the first step is confidence. No? Um, when you are confident with what you say, uh, people are likely to respond to your ideas and opinions well. Uh, because you appear to be uh, very confident confident, knowledgeable with what you say. And um, how do you do that? Of course, you uh, should have that eye contact. Um, your tone of voice should appear confident as well. And uh, a good posture, right, um, would also show that you're confident with what you're talking about. So when, let's say, you do a presentation and um, you appear to have that good eye contact, tone of voice, good posture, um, the tendency is for you to convince um, the audiences that um, your presentation or argument is, um, is correct, right? And you're able to get their buy-ins. And um, yes, that's important also in uh, the work environment. Let's say, for example, you will be part of the sales department, right? You need to do a lot of presentation, public speaking for you to close a sale. So obviously, if you're confident with the product that you are promoting or that you are selling, you're able to deliver that well, how that product would benefit the audiences or um, your potential customers, that would uh, lead you to a better success. Okay. Um, the next one is persuasion <clears throat> or being persuasive. Um, we define this as, uh, you know, the ability to uh, persuade other, others in um, the workplace or being able to no negotiate your your ideas to them, you no, know? and it can lead to increased productivity. Of course, um, if you are able to convince your uh, convince your workmates or convince others uh, to complete an action or behave in a special way, let's say going back to the sales department example, um, you're able to persuade them, convince them that this product is really beneficial for them, then. Your desired action, which is to sell that product to them, is more achievable, 
right? So, uh, again, that's two items that you need to take note of, being confident and being persuasive. Okay, let me proceed to the next one, which is written and digital communication. Okay. So, communications doesn't happen again just face to face uh, through face to face meetings public uh, speaking or um, even presentations you only you you have to take note also that um, it happens in written and digital communication no um and uh, when when we say written and digital communication you have to ensure that you have um you are clear you are able to present a clear message concise message and uh the person you're talking to or you're sending that message to understands clearly your intent okay remember in written or in digital communication, um, you're not able to show your feelings. It's how the other person would, you know, read that message and they might have a different um, take of how the message is when they read it. Uh, so it's very important that you be concise, you, be, you, you are clear with the message, and uh, perhaps a Another thing that could help that would be uh, for you to send the message or to call that person so that um, if, for example, you're dealing with a difficult written or a difficult email, um, the, the conversation isn't really going well in that email. Instead of you, um, you know, writing it there that you are upset and all um i suggest that you make it short and simple uh just uh put in there what your intent really is and um your objective make it clear to the other person and um what would help you is give that person a call no so that you're not igniting uh any um untoward uh um, situation with your teammate or with your colleague, um, it's still better that you speak with them uh, so that it's uh, they they can sense what you're really trying to uh, to show or to to make them understand with your feelings via a telephone call because in written and digital communication they they would just read it. And uh, again, the feeling, the feelings um, when you write those emails or uh, digital message, it's not there. Okay. So again, just be clear. Uh, make it short and simple when you have uh, written and digital communication um, uh, in the future. Okay. All right. So now that we have tackled the communication skills uh, we'd also like to give you a quick view of what the employee perks and benefits are in Tascas. okay of course if you decided to apply after graduation it's also important that you understand ano nga ba ang makukuha nyo or ano nga ba ang perks and benefits ni Tascas if you join us so number one we have our hmo benefit extended up to two dependents um so your dependents can be your parents, spouse, uh, of course, wala pa palang spouse, no? Your children, um, your your same-sex partner, if you have, pwede sila maging dependent. And uh, these are company-paid dependents, no? So that's one. We also have our COVID-19 related medical coverage because it's pandemic we know and we understand it's very important that you are supported by your organization or by your company if ever you turned out to be positive which i hope not but it's still uh more comfortable to know that your company is able to back you up if in case you need this coverage we also have our food forward program um this is uh, a program we have in task us to encourage self uh, care through healthy eating and at the same time caring for others because um under food forward program our employees are able to pay a meal for only five pesos with their rice their uh, viand it's a complete meal and uh the amount 
we are getting from our Food Forward program is being donated to a partner organization of TASCAS. Okay, we also have our human project. Uh, this is um, a unique approach to performance and salary appraisal wherein um, our employees can pursue their uh, personal passions or advocacies, uh, present that to our HR team. And with that, you can um, have an opportunity to have a salary appraisal. Okay. Um, we, we also have an, other uh, perks and benefits here in TASCAS. No? Uh, we have referral incentives, uh, guaranteed paid time off during your birthday leave, um, state-of-the-art facilities. We have our retirement savings program, scholarship program. We have our shuttle service as well. Um, we have our wellness and resiliency programs, like what I've shared with you earlier. We really care for the mental health, uh, psychological health of our employees. And uh, these programs help them uh, uh, monitor, you know, uh, the team is able to monitor um, the, the well-being of our employees. And it's extended also to household members. So imagine if your sibling, for example, is... Um, not feeling great, um, he or she needs an advice from a professional, even your sibling can reach out to task us, to our wellness and resiliency team, and uh, they can give uh, a session, a free session, um, to hear uh, to hear her out, right? Um, we also have our tuition fee and professional development and reimbursement program. Um, if you would like to pursue, for example, um, uh, a training or an education related to uh, your passion, let's say it's cooking, totally not related to what you're doing at work, TaskUs is there to also support you uh, because in TaskUs, we believe that um, the personal growth also matters and uh, the management is very supportive of that. Okay. We also have other employee benefits. Um, of course, uh, these are mandated by the government. No, um, We have the salary uh, range, uh, which varies depending on which uh, department or program um, you will be part of. We have the statutory benefits. Um, we have the OT premium and night differential as well. Internal promotion opportunities. When you join us, um, there is, of course, a possibility of you to be promoted depending on your performance, right, and how you behave. So Task Us really supports that idea. And um, they are uh, considering the internal promotions all the time um, before even, uh, you know, um, considering external. Okay. Another one is our opening. So in our La Union site, we are looking for teammates. And these are the qualifications we have. Um, with or without work experience, of course, 18 years old and above, um, excellent communication skills, computer savvy, and willing to work on a shifting schedule. Um, Again, when it comes to hiring, we always believe that the more diverse the workforce is, uh, the better. And we always hire the most qualified person regardless of age, race, gender. And um, yeah, so with that, we have no specific targets when it comes to hiring. And I really would like to encourage everyone, once you're ready, I hope you can um, join us and uh, submit your applications to us so we can uh, start screening you for the role and enjoy the benefits we've mentioned earlier. So how would you join us? Um, here, I'm sharing my screen for uh, the instructions or for the emails. No? Um, we have our Jobs 180 um, link uh, so you can uh, see our job postings there and apply through Jobs 180. We also have our email address, which is careers.partnerships at taskus.com. Uh, simply use the subject header uh, so we'd know that you are you are from Dimsu and you're applying for a role. And uh, just send us your updated resume so we can process you. And lastly, we have our QR code here. Um, this, is, this is for our Viber community group. We're actually uh, offering free learning uh, tips here uh, that will be very helpful uh, for your career, no? especially your starting. I suggest that you do a screenshot 
and uh, join our Viber community group. There are a lot of um, free uh, tips, uh, learning, learning and training uh, programs we offer there. So please join. And uh, yeah, that would be it. <laughs> I hope you can do a quick screenshot no? and join our group. Okay, so pretty much uh, that's it for Task Us. I really hope you learned something about communication skills and uh, that you would consider us as your uh, company of choice when you graduate from college. Thank you, Ma'am Sherry. Okay. Actually, Inga, to add to what you mentioned, guys, sa dami ng mga nakita niyong benefits no, sa Task Us, huwag na kayo lumayo. Nandiyan na sa La Union, diba, yung kanilang site. So you check them out. But check check the company. <laughs> check also the link that's scrolling uh, on the screen. You can check out jobs180.com slash task us and submit your information. So while we're uh while we're waiting for questions to come in, I have uh, prepared some questions here, ma'am. These are some of the most common questions na tinatanong nila pagdating sa gaitong segment about the communication skills. And by the way, shout out lang ako ulit sa mga audience. Guys, huwag kayo mahihiya magtanong. Okay? Ako yung magtatanong para sa inyo. Kailangan nyo lang gawin. <laughs> Ipasok nyo lang yung question nyo dyan sa comment section. Okay? So, yan lang gagawin ninyo. If you have anything that you want to, to ask kay Ma'am Sherry, just feel free to ano, to put it in. Okay? So, here's my question, uh, Ma'am Sherry. The first one is, um, do we have to speak in English every time we go to an interview? Because hindi naman po ako ganun ka, let's say, ka well-versed sa English. No? And sometimes, nahihiya sila because of the confidence. Medyo, hindi ko masabi kulang sa confidence. Pero, because we don't, it's not our... Uh, it's not our native language eh, di ba? Yung, yung English natin. So, pagdating po sa interview, eh, paano kung hindi ganun ka-confident yung applicant? How do they, how do they position their, themselves, no, in terms of asking mm -hmm. kung pwede pa mag-English or Taglish or Tagalog na lang ba? Ayan, yun po. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Kim. Yeah, that's a nice question, no? Um, first, during an interview, it appears kasi that you are more formal, you are more prepared if you speak in English language. And um, for some companies, maybe it's not a requirement. Uh, but obviously, for the outsourcing industry, it is, no? Because we are measuring our um, applicants based on communication skills, too. Uh, but I really would encourage our um, soon-to-be graduates that they practice. No, there are a lot of um, uh, articles online that they can use uh, para ma practice nila yung English communication skills nila, um, and be prepared for those interview questions. Na probably they will be asked in English as well. So if you are asked um, in English the answer must be in English as well, ideally. So it's uh, really a matter of practicing. Uh, maybe you're not used to it because dito naman sa Pilipinas, kapag sa school, di ba, parang hindi naman tayo, dapat kausap mo yung classmate mo in English, hindi naman siya ganon. Pero if you really are uh, about to graduate and you're preparing to start your journey in the professional world, you will soon practice speaking in English. And the best time to start practicing is when you are uh, about to graduate, no? Para when you uh, start looking for jobs, preparing for interviews, at least you already are, you, you're already able to practice yourself, you're, you're speaking. And what would help is, um, di ba sa Netflix, kapag nanonood ka, may subtitle. <laughs> so, you might want to, di ba, uh, use Turn that as on. your practice. Turn on the subtitle. Oo. Yes. Kahit minsan mali na yung subtitle, di ba, ali, okay lang. English pa rin naman eh. <laughs> Siguro yung okay. English tayo na mga ano, palabas, wag yung mga K-drama. <laughs> okay. Sige, tama. Now, I have another question, ma'am. Um, how, how, how will one person raise or, or, you know, without sounding na medyo parang hindi niya alam yung word, no? Kasi minsan, some HR, ito yung mga na-encounter din natin, some, some people, they use highfalutin words. Diba? Words na hindi talaga ginagamit on everyday uh, conversation. And sometimes, those words, hindi natin naintindihan. So, ano lang tayo, diba? Parang, oo, oh, 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 lang, he, 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 ganyan, ganyan. Pero, sa so, totoo lang, hindi natin naintindihan yung word. Now, how do we raise that to the to the person that they're talking to without sounding uh, well pardon for the term no yung like they, they don't want to sound the parang 
engot sila na hindi nila natindihan yung word. Pero sa totoo lang, talaga hindi naman talaga nila natindihan din yung word. So, mm-hmm. so any tips on that, ma'am? How how do they raise it na ganun? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, no. Sometimes kasi in the Sometimes our recruiters are dealing with a lot of applicants on a daily basis and hindi na nila napapansin na they're using highfalutin words na hindi talaga naiintindihan or not common um, to our applicants, especially for fresh grads. So now, if you encounter that situation na hindi mo naiintindihan yung sinabi ng interviewer, um, don't be afraid to ask the person to repeat the question. Or, eh, ma'am, paano uh, kung ni-repeat yung question? Tapos ganun na ganun. Same Can you term. please repeat? Ganun, ganun, yeah. ganun pa rin exactong pagka-deliver ng, ng interviewer. Yes, no. Um, feel free to ask the, the recruiter um, if you can uh, reword that or can you please um, uh, explain it to me better because I did not understand the question. It's okay. It's okay. It's so, okay. wag sila mahiya. Wag sila mahiya. Wag kayong mag, mahiya. Ano? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Because mahiya especially kasi. for uh-huh, especially for fresh grads, Uh, Kim, we do not expect them naman to be familiar with all those terms. So, excuse us, no, if baka akala namin, uh, like may experience yung kausap namin, hindi namin napansin. So, it's, it's sometimes it happens and um, it's better that you ask the recruiter once again, ex- ask them to explain what the question is para masagot nyo siya ng maayos. Kasi baka naman yung sagot nyo sobrang layo only because you did not ask that question, you did not clarify which will affect your interview, of course, di ba? Tama, ma'am. Tama po yan. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so I I totally agree with you. Uh, so, shout out na lang ako last time, ha? Going once, going twice. Mayroon pa ba kayong tanong? Pakilagin na po sa comment section. At uh, kung meron kayong tanong, we're going to flash it na on the screen. Oh, yes, meron. Ayan, from John Philip uh, Mag- Magno. Uh, I just joined the live. Thank you for joining. And shout out sa mga classmates mo. Tawagin mo na sila no, sa mga late dumating. Anong klasing company po ang task us? Ayan. Now, bibigyan ka ng sagot, Sir John Philip. Pwede mo to ulit panuorin mamaya sa replay. You can see all the benefits na ikikwento sa inyo ni, ni Ma'am Sherry. But in the meantime, I'll let Ma'am Sherry summarize it for you. Ayan. Sige po, Ma'am Sherry. Sure. Thank you, John Philip. So, task us, we are an outsourcing uh, provider. No, We have clients from different countries across the globe and how we support them is um, we have our employees support their products or um, answer queries from their customers and we do it uh, through ch- through chat support um, non-voice or even voice support or even content moderation so that's how we are as a company uh, but just to share with you what how we differ from others is that yung clients namin are mainly focused on the j- digital services side. So, baby, wala siya kanina, Kim, when I asked, uh, when I discussed, no? but these are clients in the social media industry, um, high-tech, fintech. Probably, if you check your apps sa phone mo, some of those are clients of Taskas. And uh, basically, yun yung parang pinaka- um, Uh, kumbaga dati nga nung clients ni Taskas. Ayan. So, sounds uh, very, very cool no, to work in your company. I saw a lot of pictures that you shared earlier. For those who missed it out, you can check us uh, again on sa replay. And in the meantime, uh, we, we're moving forward to another speaker. So, we'd like to thank you, Ma'am Sherry, for uh, sharing your knowledge you, and, and her time. So, we, we wish you to have you again in the next set of webinars. Right. Thank you. And I'd like to thank everyone as well. I hope you learned something. And we're really looking forward to your applications after graduation um, for our La Union site. Thank you and Ayan. keep safe. Thank you. Thank you, Ma'am Sherry. Okay, so guys, paalala ko lang ulit. Ha, if you want to check out Task Us, you can go to jobs180.com slash Task Us. Or you can also go to uh, schools.jobs180.com slash DMM. M S U. Okay, for other opportunities, you can check them out. So let's now proceed to our next speaker. Our next speaker will talk about top skills that, that companies are looking for. So kilalani natin ang next speaker natin. Siya si Miss Kathy Claire Velasquez. Miss Casey is a graduate of uh, BA Behavioral Sciences from UP Manila. She has been with CDO for four years now, and currently she is a supervisor in HR recruitment. Oyan, HR na naman nito. So kung meron kayong tanong anything, no, about application, about the company. 
Sikat na sikat ang CDO Food Sphere. Okay? Tanungin nyo sila kahit produkto nila. Tanungin nyo mamaya kung ano gusto nyo tanungin. Okay? So, let's all welcome Miss uh, Miss Casey, Miss Cathy. Miss Casey, you're here? Yes. Hi, hello. Yes, Hi, hello. how are you, ma'am? Hi. See you again, Kim. It's good to have you again. Uh, so, I'm well, fine, well, uh, fine. Uh, oh, Paki-share lang po ng screen ninyo. Ah, sure. Habang tayo nagkakamustahan. Right. Kumusta po ang ano ninyo? <laughs> uh, are, are you still working from home or you're, you're back on site uh, na? Now, kasi kaka-booster ko lang yesterday. <laughs> May dahilan mag-work from home. <laughs> yes. Ayan. Sa mga hindi pa nagpapabooster dyan, paalala ko na rin, magpabooster na kayo. At lalo na po sa mga hindi pa nagpapabakuna. Okay? May freedom po tayo mag-decide. Pero ako, ini-encourage ko po kayo, magpabakuna na po tayo. Okay? Para kung meron man side effect, pare-pareho tayo lahat may side effect. Ganun lang yan. Okay? So anyway, um, can you uh, full, uh, make a full screen, ma'am? Doon sa inyong... Sure. Yan. Alright. So I'll leave you to it, ma'am. Uh, you have 20 minutes. You know the drill. Later, I'll see you again for yeah. the Q&A. Hi, thank you. All right. Okay, thank you, Kim. All right. Hi. Hello, DMMSU, Dimsu. Good morning. Um, Hope you're having a good, uh, great day today, no? So finally, thank God, it's Friday. Ako lang bang masaya? <laughs> Sige, so my name is, uh, just to repeat, no? I'm Cathy Claire Velasquez. And you can call me Miss Casey. And I'm a recruiter from CDO Foods Care Inc. So uh, today, just so we could go ahead straight with the topic, we'll be talking about the top skills employers or companies look for when hiring. Okay. Alright, so when applying for a job, there are some skills and qualities employers um, seek in all their employees or applicants, regardless of the position. So I'll be talking about the general, no, generic po tayo, no? Sige, so before we start um, discussing the top skills, syempre, we would need to understand what do we mean by um, skills, no? So uh, from Miriam Webster Dictionary, so I consulted na, no? Um, what is skill? So, the ability to use one's knowledge effectively and readily in execution or performance, or pederin siyang dexterity or coordination, especially in the execution or learned uh, physical tasks. And lastly, a learned power of doing something competently. Ibig sabihin, ito yung expertise na, ta- uh, expert na po tayo in such uh, a field, no? And uh, what do we mean by um, top skills ba? Uh, do we pertain to soft skills or hard skills? Um, sige, so to better understand, ano muna? Let's define soft skills. So, soft skills, um, if hindi po lahat familiar, ito po yung um, skills that are intangible or hindi natin na- nakikita. No? It's more of related to your personality, um, your behavior, or emotional intelligence. So, like for example, just to cite um, ano, no? uh, an example, uh, leadership, um, time management, dedication, teamwork, and so on. For the hard skills naman, um, ito yung tangible. Uh, ibig sabihin, madali nating ma-assess, makita, ma-quantify. Um, this would uh, be uh, pertaining to yun nga, yung mga trainings or experience natin or practice. For example, yung mga Photoshop, certifications, or um, being able to graduate a four-year course or uh, a vocational or um, attest the course, no? There. So, ito yung mga pinatawag natin hard skills. So, now, um, we'll be talking about a hybrid no, or combination of both soft skills and hard skills. Okay, so, you'll need both soft and hard skills for any job. It's important to show employers uh, that you uh, that you have the combination of the hybrid skills they need. So, hindi pwedeng soft lang, hindi pwedeng hard lang. No? So, we need both. And then, uh, quick tip lang, very uh, very common format na sa ngayon yung resume, yung mga may mga applications of template, no, creation of generation of, uh, of resume, no. So, paano ba tayo manonotice? How can be, uh, can one uh, applicant be noticed by an, a recruiter, no? So, in order siguro to get your application noticed, uh, be sure to incorporate your resume, uh, in your resume, the skills uh, you have that requ- that are required for the possession. So, highlight your most relevant, most recent uh, skills during the job interviews by being uh, able to provide real um, life examples. No, So, later on, we'll look into it. Now, so, let me present yung seven. No? I'll, I'll be sharing seven or I'll be focusing on the seven top skills that employees uh, employers or companies look for number one would be analytical skills communication skills uh, interpersonal leadership uh, leadership skills positive attitude 
teamwork and also technical skills. So now I'll be um, giving Sugur a few minutes lang um, for you to assess, list down. Um, ano ba sa tingin niyo yung current skills that you're proud of or saan ka magaling or anong pwede mo ma-highlight in term, eh, when, you, when you apply for a job or an interview? Sige. Reflect. <laughs> Sige. And then, um, let's talk a lot ang about uh, each and each of the top skills that I've shared. No? So, number one would be analytical skills. Uh, what do you mean by analytical skills ba? So, employees need or applicants need to be able to confront a problem. So, um, aside from confronting, you'll, need, you'll be needing to think it through uh, and decisively apply solutions. So, decision making. These are known as analytical skills. The level of analytical skills required will vary depending on the job and the industry. So, um, analytical skills are closely aligned with um, um, employees are expected to organize, uh, plan, and prioritize effectively. So, um, paano ba natin um, mamimeasure si analytical skills? So, for some, like for example, in um, HR end, no, uh, we're, um, we're measuring it through um, IQ tests or other aptitude tests. And for some, ito yung situational or essay tests that... Uh, for you to, um, uh, for you to showcase uh, ano ba yung mga um, experiences nyo that would uh, really highlight yung an uh, being analytical nyo, no? Second would be communication skills. Ito yung mga, ito yung na-discuss earlier by Ms. Sherry of Tascas. So, um, I'll run through it lang, no? So, communication skills is the ability to communicate effectively, meaning both verbal and also in writing or written communication. So, they go hand in hand. Both are essential. Those with strong communication skills are in high demand as of the moment, regardless of the job or industry. So, you need to be able to communicate um, successfully with employees, with um, managers, with your interviewer, and also customers or clients in person, either um, also in online, uh, via Facebook, Instagram, email, and so on, and also um, written and over the phone. Next is the interpersonal skills. Um, as we call it, uh, people skills, no? ito yung mga people-oriented person, meaning sila yung very friendly, they could um, easily um, get in touch or um, uh, magaling makisama, as we call it, no, to other um, um, employees or teammates. So, uh, interpersonal is uh, to interact and engage with others. And uh, many are hired quickly, actually, based purely on their ability to connect with people because means ano overpower ng interpersonal skills yung other um, skills that would be required by your your employer because um ano inherent na si interpersonal skills meaning ano na nasa personality na natin yun and then the other job skills that siguro they would require is very ano siya teachable na train naman so yun minsan no overpower or mas pinaka important would be the interpersonal skills so for some siguro yung mga nasa um, would would uh, um, be inclined to practice sales opportunity or yung mga nag-online selling, yan, um, kailangan, syempre, magaling tayo makisama or hindi lang magaling magsalita, dapat ma ma marunong makisama. Meaning, very sensitive ka to what you're saying and, yun nga, emphatic and active listening, no? Next would be leadership skills. Ma, bakit leadership skills? I'm still... Um, um, about to graduate, so hindi pa naman ako yung applying for a managerial role. Um, when companies hire for leadership skills, they seek employees that can successfully interact with uh, employees, colleagues, and customers. So, kasama na niya si interpersonal skills, no? Even if you're not applying for management job, supervisory role, uh, leadership is valuable skill to bring to the employer because... As mentioned by Ms. Sherry, you know, many companies now, um, like in CDO as well, uh, prefer to promote from within, meaning internally, um, the um, department would assess um, the current manpower pool or yung skill set nila. If meron doon nag excel um, magaling, um, nasa kanya na lahat, maging makisama, very knowledgeable in terms of the work. Um, and also um, exemplify or show leadership. No, So they would opt to promote internally rather than um, look for or uh, hire externally. Okay, so, yan. So, very important na on the initial phase pa lang, 
um, you'd bring your strong leadership qualities na even when hiring for or applying for an entry-level possessions. Okay? Next is positive attitude. Positive attitude, um, hindi, sa, hindi positive sa COVID-19, no? Huwag naman sana. So, meaning, um, um, attitude may not be everything, so but it's extremely valuable. So, hindi lang sapat na, ati- na, na attitude lang yung will bring into the table. But employers nowadays want employees who are positive or optimistic, enthusiastic, even in stressful and challenging circumstances, like in this pandemic, no, the COVID-19, nag-start ng 2020. So, positivity shows your level of resilience or resiliency. Um, and um, employers want to hire applicants with a can-do attitude. Can-do, kaya ko to, no? Kahit na fresh grad ka pa lang, dami expectations, you're pressured. Dapat you are, um, may positive mindset of can-do attitude. Who are flexible, um, dedicated, and willing to contribute or do the extra effort or extra mile to get the job done in the face of calamity or challenges. Okay. Teamwork. Um, regardless of the job, in general, employers want to hire people who are team players. Ito po yung, um, syempre, of course, we're, we're um, uh, very important than someone that's very depend- independent and um, can work alone. But since you're working in a company and you're uh, trying to work on a similar or one goal, syempre, we will prioritize someone that can uh, work with uh, work well with uh, other employees so these people are uh, need to be cooperative um, collaborative very open and uh, works well with others no they blend well they syempre, companies don't want employees who are difficult to work with sino ba yon um ito yung mga siguro hindi nagma-match yung core values niyo of uh, versus the company or um hindi culture fit or um team fit yung na natin for the role okay Paano malalaman or how do we assess teamwork during the initial interview? So, going back to basic, syempre, um, please, please um, prepare for an interview. Please expect we'll be asking for siguro situation. Could you describe or could you walk me through to a particular situation where teamwork, uh, you showed teamwork, no, in finishing a task. So, yun, dapat very experiential answer para syempre, you could relate as well and alam ng uh, recruiters that you're very sincere and honest in answering. Okay? Technical skills. So, this would vary, syempre, of course, no, depending on the job. So, kung nag apply ka for baking or as, as a cook, syempre, um, hindi naman important yung marunong ka sa um, mabilis ka mag data entry. Parang ganon. Hindi naman nagmamatch. So, it would uh, vary or depend on the job. So, uh, technical skills, um, how uh, most positions require at least some technical skills, no? Um, including Sugur experience in some software, um, industry software like HRIS or Raquel SAP, if you're familiar, or completing a higher level education. Like, for example, some positions would require four year graduate or two year short course or master degrees, no? Or vocational certifications. And um, some being experienced at highly specific tasks. So, for example, I'm looking for a SAP encoder. Someone would apply. Um, hindi siya marunong sa SAP. So, um, paano, paano, paano siya masya-shortlist for the role? So, syempre, for the applicant, siguro better would be to research about the position first, understand the role, and um, al- alamin, what is SAP ba uh, at SAP? Ano ba yun as a system? How can I easily, siguro, um, level yung communication and also your understanding of the role okay sige um that's that would be the seventh no but now um with the 2022 no um other important job skills today would be kung makipapansin natin ito yung rise of the technology so nandiyan yung mga online platforms um online job fairs webinars schooling um online vaccination registration so on so there, um, number one po that we're, we're seeing would be the social media skills. So, hindi, hindi lang we're saying na you're, you're, you know the basic. 
I know of course no some or most of us are are familiar naman with the basic of Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, email and so on. But um if you're working in a specific field that involves communication, um very important lalo na siguro sa sales, digital uh, customer service, digital marketing, yan important yan no you likely need to sharpen your social media skills you should know how to use social media effectively hindi lang yung basic basic knowledge no and then uh learning how to get your message across on social media can help make you an attractive candidate sa ngayon so we're lo- really eyeing for someone that are tech savvy number two would be computer skills um Having at least some computer skills is a given in almost any job out there. So, and yung presence of computer, laptops, and other mobile devices or smartphone. No? Most jobs now are um, require some computer literacy, uh, literacy whether using um, Excel, Word, Microsoft Office tools. Um, and uh, siguro for some companies, no, you'll be trained kung uh, very, siguro, um, um, internal yung kanilang or customized yung kanilang um, system. So, you'll be probably get trained on it, such as content management systems, HRIS, or any specific data entry tools. If you're not experienced in all the software programs highlighted in the job posting, katulad nga kanina sa app encoder, no? um, it would be helpful to de- demonstrate to the employer your ability to learn new software quickly. So, um, highlight na you're, you're a fast learner. Um, paano? So, cite an example or a situation. Um, um, kailan ka or um, paano ka naging, uh, paano mo natawag yung sarili mo that you're a fast learner, quick learner. Okay? Uh, uh, another example, you're, you're, um, you're eyeing to be a baker. So, syempre, um, priority doon would be someone that um, has a basic knowledge na or idea of the basic baking tools, basic uh, basic baking processes, and even know, uh, knows how to cook. Right. No? Um, ah, I'd like to add lang din, no? Hindi ko na naisama. Would be uh, important skill din sa ngayon is integrity. Because of the pandemic, um, nagkaroon ng blended schedule, hybrid, uh, as we call it, hybrid schedule, no? May on-site, may work from home. So, um, hiring someone that um, has a strong sense of integrity, lalo na in CDO, it's part of our core values. So, um, kahit na, paano ba pag sinabi natin integrity? You're, you're, um, you're, you have a strong work ethic and um, you can, you, you promise to do what you need to do or expected from you kahit na wala pang nakikita or you're um, parang macro-managing po tayo, no? So, um, I think... Yun, kailangan natin improve that you are a trustworthy person. I'd like to also share, aside from identifying the top skills, no? Um, paano pag na-identify na how to how to improve those skills or yung mga weakness natin, no? Um, number one, syempre, is to identify. Tatlo lang to, no? So, number one is to identify. Ito yung sinabi ko, um, you need to do before we start with the talk, no? Identify your skills that you wanted to improve on or yung mga strength natin. And then, set goals. Um, paano set goals? Um, meaning, um, kung sakaling you wanted to um, try to, siguro mas mabilis pa in terms of typing speed, you need to practice, to focus, and also give your, uh, get better at it, no? Uh, on a daily basis para, um, um nagkakaroon ng progress yung inyong um um setting goal or yung um skills improvement natin. Lastly, if you're confident enough that let's say you're good in communication skills na um you practice watching Netflix, reading books, um public speaking, um try it um to um ask someone, siguro family or close friends and ask for feedback. Um this is very important. It's a great way to measure your progress and also get an honest assessment from um, yun nga, friends or family. And lastly, showcase your skills. So, kung, kung experience ka na, nandiyan na yung progress, your skill improvement mo, syempre, hindi naman po dapat na mahihinto lang sa practicing, no? You need to showcase or show and apply it um, to your first job. So, to be sure you're showing your top skills during your job search, uh, make a list of skills and abilities, qualities that best reflect your background. Incorporate them in your resume or cover letter. And think of real-life sam- examples 
where you apply these skills to achieve success on the job and share them during interview with your recruiters for better chance of landing your first job or your dream job. Okay. Um, before I end this, I'd like to also um, take this opportunity to introduce CDO Foods here to you. So let me just give you a brief background of our company. And then later, I, I'll cater your questions, okay? So um, CDO is a food manufacturing base in the Philippines. And we have been in the industry for, um, sorry, it's uh, 46 years now. And CDO stands for Caruzon Dairoong. It's the name of our founder. We have been in the industry for... Uh, sorry, we have manufacturing plants both here in Valenzuela and in Malvar, Batangas, but we also have possessions all over or nationwide, uh, like for example, yung mga field sales natin, field auditors. So just to share, we have an opening also in um, La Union no? for someone or to those that are about to graduate and would like to pursue sales opportunity. We're looking for a distributor sales specialist. Priority now is fresh graduates that are um, that excel in negotiating, in um, communication skills and presentation. All right. Next would be uh, as of now, we have... Um, 5,200 employees, both Malvar, Batangas, and CDO, Valenzuela. SKUs are 400 plus, or products natin. We are ISO certified, and now we have 20 plus brands. Just to uh, also run through our um, vision and mission, so we champion your times and unite families through food that calls them home. We live to bring them the freshness and uh, the light of home style cooking that fills their heart. And we will be the most trusted food company, loved for how our food creations bring and bond all generations of people together. So uh, I'd like to highlight as well yung ating core values. For some that would be interested to apply here in CDO, might as well reflect on yourself and um, see to it that yung ating core values would match, would be a good match on your personality and also your that your, the values that you believe in. Number one is passionate about customers and consumers. You're innovative and entrepreneurial or business-minded, no? Love for God, um, um, integrity, and also open and collaborative. So for some, no, um, yung ating product categories, just for you to be familiar with, frozen meat, ito yung mga ating canned goods, which, ah, sorry, yung mga hot dogs, tosino natin, I'll be showing it later. Canned meat, canned fish, dairy, sweet preserves. Yeah, just as an example, hot dogs and sausages, at yung mga Christmas hams natin, bacon, patties, tocino, and native sausages. For breaded products, we also have nuggets, um, Chinese deli, mga shomai, kikiam, shopa. Corned beef, um, highlands, carne north, mga luncheon meat. For the bottled fish or canned, um, we are producing, we are manufacturing the San Marino. Um, for those na hindi po familiar, no, San Marino. dairy products like cheese blocks, sliced cheese, cheese balls, spread, and sweet preserves po. Okay, yung mga kaong and nata de coco. And um, I'd like to share, aside from CDO as a business, we also have this non-organic, ah, sorry, um, NGO, no? Um, Odyssey. This is uh, parang uh, charity worker voluntary um, mm, uh, arm of CDO Food Sphere, giving back to to our communities or individuals, no? Um, as of the moment, they are offering five streams or programs where you can rejoin and participate. So it looks like may konting ano lang tayo, uh, technical challenges right now with Ms. Casey. Uh, as a, I think she's trying to connect back. Uh, while we're waiting for Ms. Casey to be back, uh, guys, shout out ako sa mga audience. Okay, yung mga kakarating lang, lagay nyo po ang inyong uh, pangalan at inyong mga section or course. Hi, hi Ma'am Casey. I, we can hear you again. Ah, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Nakat na, na kayo eh. Along, along the promotion of your items, uh, naputol po. Uh, ah. Because of, I think the... Although, konti na lang. Halos na-share nyo na lahat na produkto nyo. Masasarap okay. lahat na produkto ng CDO. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ayan. So, 
uh, we're Sorry now proceeding that, to the Q&A. Problem. Oh, okay lang ma'am. We can proceed to the Q&A. So I was uh, asking lang the audience kung meron silang tanong about CDO, about your topic, uh, kahit about CDO, kahit mga, mga produkto nila gusto yung tanongin. Di ba? Ako, paborito ko dyan yung ano eh, yung Christmas ham. Yan. Puera biro. Kailangan nyo matikman. Yung ranch. Ranch house. Yan. Doon ko nalaman, under CDO rin pala yun. So, nung Pasko ko lang nalaman. Ayan. Sobrang sarap ng Christmas ham na yan. Okay, so mukhang nag-freeze ulit si Miss Casey. So, uh, guys, kung mayroon kayong questions, I'm checking now the comment section. Baka meron kayong tanong. At mukhang wala kayong tanong, ah. Kayo ba'y nahihiya? Huwag nga kayong mahiya, eh. Diba? Kailangan natin magtanong. Yan ang importante para malaman natin kung ano yung mga, ano natin, mga, mga, mga kailangan natin malaman, no? Pagdating sa, sa lahat, sa buhay-buhay, sa pag apply yan. So, yes, marami talaga pong produkto ang CDO. In fact, they've grown. Uh, this company has grown from humble beginnings. No? Kung napakinggan niyo yung story, kinukwento ni Miss Casey earlier, right now, they're really, really big. Diba? So you can see from canned goods to everything, almost anything that, that, that you, you eat, it's somewhere, one way or another connected to CDO. Diba? Sabi ko nga, yung ranch house nga, hindi ko alam, CDO pala yun. <laughs> Sobrang sarap nun. Ayun lang masasabi ko dyan. Anyway, ayan, hindi ako endorser ng CDO, pero sinasabi ko lang, walang tatalo sa ham na yun. Walang tatalo sa ham na yun. Ayan, yun na. Okay, so uh, let's proceed to the questions, ma'am, while, while you're back. Ayan, thank you po for trying yeah, to connect yeah. again. So, uh, wala pa tanong yung audience, pero ako meron ako na naisip na itanong, ma'am, dito. Um, yung current batch po ba right now, would you consider them uh, to be oh, at sure. a disadvantage? Now, this batch and last year's batch, no, would you consider them as a, a, at a disadvantage knowing that they didn't have any um, hands-on or actual, sabi natin, OJT or work experience sa mga companies or limited yung kanilang work experience na face-to-face because of the pandemic? So what's what's your thoughts on that, ma'am? Okay, so I, I don't like to call it as disadvantage, no. It's more of siguro, a different approach. Um, um, one way or another, they're better on um, siguro, mo, um, in tech savvy, no, um, online and all, uh, other applications there out there as compared to the old generation or before pandemic, no. But syempre, um, we were trying to um, um, try trying to for an applicant to show ano ba yung what she can offer given na ito nga yung uh, weakness ko I, I have no um first hand experience during internship so um ano yung kaya mong i-offer on the company so yon siguro try um or prepare um, um answering those kinds of information or questions oh okay so well i think Sabi nga ni Ma'am Casey, and I also agree, by the way, let me re- re- erase mo yung sinabi kong disadvantage. Hindi po pala siya disadvantage. Ibang approach lang. Uh, tama, ibang approach. Ayan. So another question po, Ma'am. Yes, correct. Meron po kasabihan, no? may kasabihan kasi that you cannot teach old dogs new tricks. Di ba? You, you've heard of that that uh, kasabihan. No? Parang mahirap turuan ang mga, mga tenured Ayan, na mga bagong bagay because most of the tenured people, according to the saying lang, ha, of that you cannot teach old dogs new tricks, is that pag tenured na, kadalasan meron silang bit-bit na kaalaman, diba? uh, ito na alam nila, so they normally have their own practice. So that being said, uh, given na yung na-mention nyo all the skills, no, about hard skills, soft skills, and everything else, the top seven skills you, you mentioned, um, sa inyo pong experience, mas... Uh, mas pinapaburan po ba ninyo? Okay? Are you are you are you more into hiring people with experience or would you uh, prefer to hire people without experience? Yan. Okay. All right. So, um for now actually it would uh, vary on the position and the level that we're looking for. So, um as of the moment we're really opening the doors to um uh, fresh graduates that has siguro very um new perspective um yung mga with fresh ideas um lalo na we're we're growing no we're really expanding to um Visayas Mindanao so there um depending on on the, the position syempre for supervisory level we're, li- we're look 
for um, skilled and technical um, um, new hires. Okay. So, dahil na-mention ni Ms. Cathy, Ms. Casey, na marami nga rin silang hiring right now, don't forget to check out jobs180.com slash CDO. Ayan, nakascroll yan sa screen. Okay, you can also check out your uh, school career portal sa uh, schools.jobs180.com slash DMMMSU. Ayan, for more opportunities. Now, looking at the comment section, uh, mag-auction tayo ulit, going once, <laughs> going twice. At mukhang wala na talaga silang gusto itanong. Hindi ko alam kung itong batch na ito ba ay mahiyain. Oh, guys, ha? wink, wink. I'm challenging you. Ask those questions. No? Tagalog man yung tanong ninyo, English, or gusto nyo local dialect. Try natin i-interpret no? kung maintindihan natin. Sige lang, tanong nyo lang po yung mga tanong na yan. Okay? Now, meanwhile, while we don't have any other questions there, uh, Miss Casey, any po uh, any any parting words, any any tips para po sa ating mga uh, darating na mga graduating students? All right. So, so your tips um very important you know discussed earlier by Ms. Sherry and also incorporate this uh, top skills that I've shared and I'm sure that um you you can use it very well on your um next opportunity or mga job interviews natin. And uh, parting words siguro, thank you for having me again Ms. Azarkin and um again on Tuesday. <laughs> and then it is um, always a pleasure to have you ma'am. Uh, uh. <laughs> and also um hoping to see um applicants no for from the MMSU. Yes, and I'm sure they will. Ay, they will. Lalo na kung promote kayo kung mayroong bang mayroon po bang uh, free uh hindi man free, may discounted po ba sa mga empleyado? Yeah. Pag sa mga produkto all, uh, ninyo. employees of CDO Food Sphere uh mas the privilege of 10% discount to all our um food stores. Ayun na, narinig niyo na yon guys. <laughs> Huwag nyo nang palampasin ang 10%, malaki na rin yung discount na yan. Because you don't find that uh, 10% discount elsewhere. Diba? Mag-empleyado kayo ng CDO Food Sphere, advantage yung 10% na yan. Okay, so with that being said, thank you ulit Ma'am Casey for your time. We are hoping to have you again. No? we we'll see you soon sa mga next seminars natin. Okay. Alright, so now let's proceed to the next topic. Kayo talaga mga audience ngayon, medyo mahiyain. Ha? Ayaw niyo pa rin magtanong. Itong susunod na presenter natin, siguro naman. Sa topic na kanyang pag-uusapan, malamang sa malamang, meron na kayo malamang gusto malaman din or gusto pang tanongin. Because uh, our next presenter uh, will be talking about the new normal world of work. Yan. No? Hindi na to yung kakasanay natin. So alamin natin ano tong mga pag-uusapan ni, ng speaker natin. So our speaker for today will be Miss Christine Chrissy uh, Tiokson. Uh, she is a graduate of Bachelor of Science in Secondary Education from Technological Institute of the Philippines, that's TIP. She has eight years of work experience in the field of BPO, talent acquisition, which led her to a stint with VXI Global Holdings as a talent acquisition officer. With this role, she is responsible for talent acquisition, internal sourcing strategies, such as referral programs, and employee engagement. And so let's all welcome... Ms. Uh, Chrissy Tioxon, the Talent Acquisition Officer of BXI. Thank you very much, Harry. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. So, again, thank you so much for, for having us here. And my topic for today would be expectations in the new normal work environment. So, we have been hearing new normal a lot this past couple of months. It was, I think, March last year when we had our lockdown. And since then, it's been a year now. And we have been coping with many ways on how to do or how we can continue on with life despite this pandemic. And of course, the workplace set up did not, um, did not, uh, did not, uh, stay on on those dilemmas but instead uh, integrated new ways on how to cope with this new normal setup so i think by the time that i finish this sentence i have said new normal a couple of times but how what what is new normal really so new normal is defined all right New normal is a new English expression.
expression that describes the way people will live their lives during and after the coronavirus outbreak. So, maraming mga bagay na um, we thought, you know, were, were, were impossible back then. But I think the, the thing that I have, um, the best takeaway that we have from this pandemic is that we are all very adaptive in the in, in every situation. So provided that there's lockdown, provided uh, uh, we're not allowed to see each other um, like in big gatherings anymore, people have integrated a voice on how they can live their lives during and after the coronavirus. So there were many ways such as we started with um, having um, quarantine passes. That's one of the things that we had in the new normal. Back then, labas. If you want to go out, do what you want. It's all okay. But now you have to check on guidelines if you are gonna be um, if you, if it, if a certain establishment is allowed to operate at this certain time, or if the offices are allowed to have their employees come in to work. There are so many things that we check now. Pero I think um, that's what the reason why it's called new normal is because those are things that we don't we we haven't gotten used to doing. But when we started doing that, that and living with it, we realized it's not a big deal, like wearing face mask. Back then when it started, parang everybody's like, mahirap puminga, um, uh, nangangati yung ilong ko sa face mask. But now everybody's doing it. And it, it's not a bad thing, right? We have all adapted to the system. And now the workplace has done that too. To make sure that um, life goes on, both for the employers and employees, right? Now, um, one of the new normals, uh, one one of the things that have added into our uh, into into the workplace is the safety is a top priority. It has always been, mind you. I there are a lot of companies that would have a lot of signages on how to keep yourself safe but right now the safety is top priority um pertaining to the protocols that we follow um to prevent the spread of covid-19 so first thing definitely no face mask no face shield no entry if you will be applying to companies or any if you're going to be going to any establishment right now it's automatic that we're all going to be wearing face mask and face shield which we did not used to do back then before the pandemic right and before you go to work once you're in the building pag, uh, once you arrive in the building You'll be checked if you have face mask and face shield, and there will be body checking of temp uh, checking of body temperature and filling out a health declaration form upon entry to the office premises. Back then, walang ganon. When you go to work, sometimes if you are running late, um, an, an employee would be rushing from the door, going to the station and logging in, right? But right now. An employee must make sure to come in a little earlier because there will be checking of body temperature and you have to fill out the form that says if you have you been exposed to have you traveled have you been exposed to someone with with fever or COVID-19 symptoms so you have to as an employee you have to allocate time for that so that's one of the changes hindi na pwede yung yung some days that you would have to be running to make it on time, like, um, what do you call that? Uh, I can't remember, but I'll think about it. If you know the answer, you can, um, you can click on the link. Um, next is no touch hand sanitizer dispensers will become very common. Um, I'd like to speak for our for for where I work in VXI. We all we, we always had this um, hand sanitizers. However, um, ako as as an employee since I wa wala pang pandemic back then, I kind of take it for granted. Yung parang dadaanan ko lang siya. But now it's everybody's uh, it's everybody's priority and must 
do kapag dadaan ka sa mga sa hallways, you have to make sure that you sanitize your hands. Um, and what I'm saying is, it's not that these sanitizers are just deployed this time. I I guess they're they've been around for 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 the longest time but we have been taking uh, taking it for granted like me na minsan pagdaan ko I forget to sanitize my hands but bef because of the pandemic we make sure to always wash our hands and then uh there's a sanitizer near every station where people would you know would would common areas would people be passing by okay and number four, integration of sensor doors and elevator buttons and uh, the improvement of other commonly touched areas in the office. So, um, uh, dahil nga, we are trying to spread, uh, to you, we will try to prevent the spread of COVID-19. We want to make sure that those commonly touched areas such as doorknobs, dapat, ano, dapat hindi na siya, um, hindi na siya, I mean, it's sanitized regularly or it's replaced with something more high tech. So you would explain, you, you can expect the workplace right now to integrate this new technology. And I'm, I'm not sure about you, but sa, uh, in our company, the, the, the button is sensor uh, sensitive, so you don't have to touch the buttons. And you can see this many companies would adopt to this too because again we have to make sure that everyone is safe from the virus so apart from the basic um the basic things that we have to know um in the workplace there are also other preventative measures that are com that, that the companies are doing to make sure na hindi kakalat yung virus so this is gonna these are all added because um right now ito yung pinakamalaking kalaban talaga ng mundo the virus so computers and phones are no longer shared so before um i have experience from long ago the sharing of stations like when when someone's uh when when someone needs to borrow your station or someone needs to use your phone that's okay like no big deal but now um our company has a street uh, has a strict policy that they're not supposed to share stations and um, we, we we have a via phones on our stations so we can call other departments and so we were not allowed to share that anymore because um, of course the, the the transmission of the virus once we want that to be um, to be minimal okay um, and of course zero at most seating arrangement arrangement shall observe one meter distancing so for for offices that observe that that does on site um work i i guess you have seen videos where people were companies like yung mga station is empty or if they are not complete completely empty people are sitting one seat uh, are, are being stationed one seat apart and parang my exam every day no one seat apart so there um is still uh one meter social distancing hindi na siya gaya ng dati na pag pihit mo andyan na yung katabi mo at pag may tatanong ka well they're still gonna be available but you have to louder your voice a little bit or chat right adding acrylic physical barriers in the workstations canteen seats and other areas to reduce its risk of spreading the virus so um if you once you get the job well, once you get hired you will notice that the office looks different as well yung yung mga canteens would have barriers now and then um uh what do you call this the the area where you can buy food there will be cover as covers as well like plastic covers um, on the upper portion just to make sure that every one is prevented from being exposed from each other because we we don't know who's carrying the virus some people you know some people would say they're they're asymptomatic or so on but um well, luckily this procedure is especially checking uh people's temperature and um health declaration forms help the companies to ensure now those who are entering the building or the office premises 
are COVID free. Um, and lastly, you'll notice an avoidance of big group meetings, assim assemblies, or team building events. So, ito yung, I'd be honest with you, I kind of miss team building events. You know, when when we, you, when you got gather outside the work or within the work hours just to, you know, have a seminar or do activities. But right now, um, iwas muna tayo sa mga physical activities. So, um, many companies have shifted to doing different kinds of webinars or support programs that would ensure that they still are in contact with their employees. So, may share ko lang no. For for VXI, we just had we just recently had a, sem a seminar on um uh, mental health. Uh, uh, on about mental health, ensuring and improving our mental health. And we had a lot of um, very interesting and popular guests that helped us to make sure and, and to, to, that, that helped us give us uh, experiences, ensuring that you know, these are how I have cope up with the with the COVID nineteen, and that you're not alone if you're feeling this and that. And these programs are the things that the companies would be doing this uh this time because of the pandemic. So they'll make sure that um even virtually they'll be reaching out to their employees. Now, once that you have been hired or if you're currently right now working i'd give you a few tips on how to cope on the new normal uh in the workplace so number one ecq pa din po ecq enhanced communication quality communicating kasi po i mean helps people to express their ideas feelings and at the same time help us to understand the emotion of and thought of others so as a result it gives you tools to better understand the needs and the goals of your co-employees. So, um, even if walang team building, even if we're sitting one meter apart, um, there are so many ways that we can reach out to our friends. We have Messenger, we have def different media to use. We can call our friends. You, There is always um, a need for someone because people are, or human beings are social beings or social uh are 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 um inclined to be social so we we need each other to help you know to help each other out and make sure everybody's okay right so um i think one of the challenges that we have experienced is for example you're you're a new hire and and it's already the new normal no so once you come in a lot of um parts of your job would be virtual like such as onboarding should be, these items will be done virtually or um lesser physical contact but we make sure that even if you're a new hire at this new normal set up and you don't get to see the whole team all together at one space we make sure that everyone is in touch and always communicating and make sure that we are keeping up morale between team members so we always it's it's always a must that we ask how are you guys today um how are we doing or offering opportunities to bond so i just want to share you know when we started with the pandemic i think it was um march last year right so june uh june last year we realized that we haven't been getting together our team specifically so we had we we had like a tiktok challenge between our teammates you know it's it's us sending our tiktok videos or doing live tiktoks while on the meeting so it's just for fun something to look forward to and it's an offer opportunity for us to have an experience apart from just doing our jobs and those are the things that we have to be creative with as well and lastly we have to be agile to adapt always be ready to become adjusted to working to new working conditions there will always be new tools there will always be new tasks to be added to make sure that we can still deliver our our pro, our um, deliverables even if we're not physically in the office or even if we're not physically in contact with each other okay there are so many changes in the world and this new normal has just um uh 
how do I say it in English? If I can't remember, I'll say it in Tagalog. Pinabilis lang niya on how we can uh, cope up with this. And, you know, something that I have uh, realized during this time is that we're all very creative. We will always find ways to cope up with the new normal. So, before I finish my presentation, I'd like to leave you a quote. It's not the strongest or the most intelligent who will survive, but those who can best manage. So don't worry, this pandemic season has produced so many solutions to so many things that we thought was were impossible. So once you get your job, once you for, for those who have been working, I know that you have been coping up well. And for those who will be hired soon, good luck and don't worry, the people that are already there are waiting to welcome you and make sure that you feel that you are part of the organization and still succeed in what we do. Okay? Thank you very much, guys. And that's all for my presentation today. Thank you, Mom Chrissy, for uh, sharing uh, those ano, mga, mga thoughts and mga words of wisdom ninyo about the topic. Now, unfortunately, guys, uh, Mom Chrissy won't be able to join us for the live Q&A. However, this is the good news. If you have questions, if you have anything you want to ask, feel free to send it in the comment section. And we are going to cover those questions. Okay? In the meantime, in the meantime, habang uh, tayo tumitingin pa ng mga questions, dahil marami nga sa inyo, mahiyain. <laughs> Puro heart, heart, heart mga nakita kong comment dyan. Oh, I know you, you love the topic. no? Uh, and I'm sure you have some questions in about the new normal. Um, we are going to save those questions. In the meantime, we're going to proceed muna dun sa ating uh, last speaker. And lahat ng mga questions ninyo, itatanong natin yan dyan mamaya. Kay Sir Kevin. Okay, so kilala ni natin ang next speaker natin. Okay, ito na. Save the best for last na po ito. Okay, this is not our usual three-segment uh, uh, show. This is a four segment show. So, ito ang bonus natin today. Okay. Yan, nakita ko na mga questions nyo. Sige lang, keep it, keep it coming. Okay? Now, in the meantime, let me introduce our, our uh, last speaker. Uh, Sir Kevin Veruasa uh, took up mass communications from Negros Oriental State University and have been part of recruitment for six years. He started working as a CSR, uh, as CSR, I mean, and was absorbed under sourcing. And eventually, uh, you know, meeting people, he loved uh, his work, and then that made him stay. So he also likes to watch movies and enjoys drinking coffee. Yan. Madjo, ano rin to? Ka Cafeholic, <laughs> sabi nga. Okay, so uh, he's been with uh, Inspiro for four years now, and uh, I'm sure he will be sharing a lot of exciting new things about the company later on. So let's all welcome Sir Kevin Verwasa, the candidate engagement uh, uh, from Inspiro. Yan. <laughs> Sir Kevin. Thanks, good morning, Paul. Good morning. It's good to have you here. And uh, I have some good news to keep you excited as well. Marami na mga questions yung audience. So, hindi pa kayo nagsisimula. Hindi ready natin yung mga questions para sa inyo. Mamaya. Okay, mamaya. Alisa pa ako, sir. Uh, in the meantime, uh, can you kindly uh, share your screen para okay. makita natin? Mm -hmm. Kamusta po kayo? Are you, uh, where are you right now, sir? Are you, um, are you I'm part of the Philippines? Here. Yeah, at home, uh, Ay, in the I'm here in Makati po. In Makati, okay. Ayan. Uh -huh. So, yan ang maganda sa virtual setting, no? Kahit saan lupalupan tayo ng mundo. Ng Pilipinas at kahit saan man, ba? Kahit sa outer space, basta may internet, <laughs> pwede mag-join sa webinar. Ayan, sir. Okay. Can you see my screen na pa? Uh, our tech team is now putting it up. Ayan na, ready na. So, ito na po yung mga, mga topic na maraming agang agam agam di ba marami kasi gusto ngayon about mental health na mention nga yan kanina nung previous speaker then that they also had a seminar about this so mental health you know, we're, we're going to focus more on uh staying positive in times of crisis and i will leave you to it sir kevin you have 20 minutes after afterwards we're going to do the q a at lahat ng mga questions nila ibabato natin sa iyo okay so guys pasok na yung questions nyo all right sir kevin you have the floor all right sir thank you so much Right. Hi guys. Um, good morning. Um, good morning to the MMSU. So, um, by the way, my name is Kevin. Just to introduce myself, so I am the searching supervisor for um, Inspiro. Um, so this morning I'll be discussing to you how to stay positive and productive um, in times of crisis. Now, um, let's start with the first slide. 
um, muna uh, before we proceed with the tips and um, like the tips on how to be positive. Okay. So first is why staying positive is important. So we need to know bakit sa panahon ngayon, especially um, dahil sa, let's focus on the ano, sa nangyayari ngayon sa mundo, which is the COVID-19. Bakit important yung pagiging positive. So, positive thinking helps with stress management and can even improve your health. So, indeed, um, some studies shows that personality traits such as optimism and pe pessimism can affect many areas of your health and well-being. So, the positive thinking that usually comes with optimism is a key part of effective stress management. Now, um, being positive, um, you'll be able to um, seek support from others when you remain positive as people tend to gravitate positive people. So if you can stay positive and keep your mental traction through crisis, you'll be much more able to come up with solutions to problems and solve the issues. Now, um, so dito na part, if you are positive, like if you remain positive, yung mga tao na parang nawawala ng pag-asa, um, parang mahahawaan mo sila ng positivity. So parang positive energy attracts positive energy. Kasi kapag naging negative ka, yung people around you will be negative as well. So medyo maapektuhan yung uh, mentality nila. Um... Physically and mentally, may possibility na maapektuhan sila. Okay? Now, this time, bakit important sa atin yung positivity? Because our mental health is being affected. Okay? So, sa mundo natin right now, um, parang medyo nag-iba yung um, takbo ng buhay natin because of the pandemic, which is the COVID-19. So, um, it's really important to ensure that mental health is our tip-top. Um, especially for those na um, nagka-quarantine, yung mga mag-isa, yung mga naapektuhan, yung family members natin na mga wala kasama ngayon. Now, let's discuss bakit important yung mental health. Okay? So, for this one, your mind matters. So, meaning your mental health matters for us. Now, paano mo malalaman, how would, or let's just say, how would you know if your mental health is still okay? If you are... Um, Parang masabi na okay pa ako, okay pa yung um, pag-iisip ko. So if you think you feel okay, sa tingin mo na okay ka pa, you still feel joy, um, tama pa yung pagtulog mo, uh, may sense of belonging ka pa, hindi nag-change yung good mood mo, or let's just say you don't try to please everyone, meaning yung mental health mo is okay pa. Yung stress is okay lang naman yun. That's part of um, everyday's life. Na feel natin yung stress. But at the end of the day, sa tingin mo na okay ka pa, wala ka pang nararamdaman or wala pang mga pagbabago sa sarili mo, then you are okay. Alright? Now, how would you know if you are no longer okay? If your mental health is no longer okay? Um, one is disrupted sleep. So kung sa tingin mo na apekto ano yung pagtulog mo, um, that is something na mag-alala ka na. Siguro sabihin natin na yung normal sleep hours mo is um, around 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. nakakatulog ka na niyan. But if madalas or let's just say everyday nakakatulog ka na ng 2 a.m., 3 a.m. biglang nag-change yung habit mo, yung sleep time mo, uh, meaning yan, possible reason na may problema ka na when it comes to um, your mental health. Second is irritability or being more emotional than usual. So ito yung mga biglang nagbabago yung mood. Ngayon, okay, later, uh, malungkot, magagalit, maiinis, o may mga ganun. Okay lang naman yung mood swing, that's normal. But if it's every day na nangyayari, na parang ganito, hindi na siya, hindi na yan normal. Okay? Uh, third is lost of joy. Um, kung wala na kasi yan sa katawan mo, that's one. Uh, fourth, change in appetite. Uh, sa atin kasi, um, lalo na sa mga naka-work from home, yung mga naka-experience ng um, parang pag-iisa, nagbabago talaga yung appetite natin. Um, pag mga ganitong situation kasi kailangan mong isipin na bakit bigla akong ganito? Dati naman malakas ako kumain, but now or lately parang 
once a day na lang ako kumakain or, or minsan hindi na ako kumakain uh, at the same time nababago na din yung mood mo. So maapektuhan talaga everything um, kapag hindi na okay yung mental health natin. Third is worsening physical symptoms. So ito yung mga headache, um, kung meron ka na anxiety, a sleeping disorder, mga ganong bagay, uh, that's one. And then yung low energy. Um, kapag everyday, Uh, na siya na wala kang buhay, ang tamlay-tamlay mo, hindi ka na, guma- hindi ka na nag-exercise than usual, then um, that's part of mental health. So you should check yourself if you are okay. If you have these six that I've mentioned, or let's just say four of these things that I've mentioned, then there is a possibility na meron ka ng problema when it comes to mental health. Um, how would you, um, paano natin ma-resolve yung mental health? Or yung ito, yung mga bagay na to. First, siguro is you aim for at least seven to eight hours sleep. So, itry mo, or pilitin mo yung sarili na matulog ng at least seven to eight hours. Kapag four hours every day, Uh, maapektuhan not just your mental health but physically maapektuhan talaga. Okay? Tapos, eating healthy balanced uh, meals. So, breakfast, lunch, dinner as much as possible. Lagyan ng snack or lagyan ng midnight snack as much as possible. Um, pilitin natin yung sarili natin kumain. Okay? And then, avoid um, excessive um, drinking of alcohol. Um, lalo na sa atin, uh, sa mga kabataan na yun, sa Gen Z, maraming parang mahilig mag-bar, mahilig mag-party, mahilig uminom. I myself is, um, I do drink alcohol, but minimize ka na siya. Maybe siguro um, tumatanda na din. So medyo nag-change na din yung um, alcohol consumption ko. Now, next slide would be the tips on how to stay positive para maalagaan natin yung mental health natin. Okay? So, I'll be giving you nine. Um, these are just nine tips that I will be mentioning. And then, um, you can apply this one later on um, if you can or if you wanted to. Okay? Now, the first one is don't dwell on what you can control. So, for me, um, the scariest thing about sa nangyayari sa mundo natin ngayon is hindi natin alam kung kailan ito matatapos. So no one knows when or where it's going to pan out. So hindi natin masasabi na bukas wala ng crisis, tomorrow, next week, next year, wala ng pandemic. And ngayon maraming mga variant na lumalabas when it comes to COVID. Um, hindi lang COVID, hindi pa natin alam na baka may iba pang uh, crisis or pandemic na dumating. So we don't know. This is something that we can control. So um, for this one, um, don't dwell on what you can control. Sabihin natin na uh, you don't know how to cook. Um, huwag kang magluluto ng adobo kung hindi mo pa alam yung basic o hindi mo pa alam paano magprito ng itlog don't do something na parang or don't do something stupid kung hindi mo naman kaya uh, huwag mong gawin gawin mo lang yung sa tingin mo na parang kaya ko lang and makokontrol ko lang okay uh, two uh, or second stay in contact with your loved one so Um, the cruelest thing siguro na masasabi natin is yung mapapalayo tayo sa mga mahal natin sa buhay. Okay? Yung parang ma-force tayo na lumayo sa kanila dahil um, contaminated sila or contaminated tayo. Um, so parang mamimiss din natin yung mga family members natin, yung mga jowa natin, loved ones natin, and so on. So for us to, ano, um, for us to stay positive, kailangan din natin ng positive Um, or encouraging words sa mga mahal natin sa buhay. So as much as possible, we stay contact. Um, tawagan natin sila. If magkalapit lang naman tayo, we talk to them um, daily as much as possible. Um, good morning, good night, good evening, kumusta? Um, yung mga bagay na yun, yung pangungusa sa um, sa mga kamag-anak natin or sa mga friends natin would help them a lot. Sa panahon ngayon, marami talagang nakaka-experience or nawawala ng pag-asa because of the pandemic. Okay? Uh, the third one, enjoy those small moments. So, well, ano, marami sa atin is mahilig sa mga party na nakasanayan natin na gumala, uh, makipag-party, lumabas with friends and everything, umuwi ng madaling araw or umuwi ng umaga. But dahil sa nangyari ngayon, we need to um, consider um, those small moments or small things. So kailangan nating maging contento sa kung anong meron tayo sa ngayon. Like kung 
Um, kung music yung magpapasaya sa'yo, before hindi mo na-appreciate yung music and sa ngayon parang naka, nagbibigay ng mood sa'yo, then appreciate those small moments. Parang habang hindi pa okay yung mundo, bakit hindi mo hayaang um, or bigyan ng chance yung sarili mong maging masaya sa maliliit na bagay? Okay? So dati hindi ka close sa family mo, why make Uh, the situation as your way para maging close naman, makabanding yung family mo. Mga ganang bagay. Okay? Um, the fourth slide would be um, work it out. This is just very common. Malaking bagay talaga to. Uh, mentally, nakakatulong talaga yung workout kasi hindi lang uh, physically, hindi lang mentally, uh, but spiritually, nakakatulong talaga yung pag-workout. Um... Siguro um, dahil sa nalalabas natin yung lahat kapag nag-workout tayo, um, parang may lumalabas sa katawan natin. So as much as possible, we do this. Marami sa atin yung parang tambay lang sa bahay, walang ginagawa, more on social media, um, naka, walang ginagawa. Kahit man lang takbo or paglilinis ng bahay, hindi natin nagagawa. Um, Consider those as parang exercise nyo na din. Parang kung tumutulong kayo, pinagpapawisan kayo, um, if kailangan nyo tumakbo, as long as it's safe, then do it. Kasi nakakatulong talaga siya mentally. Ay, uh, sa akin talaga, um, based on my own experience, hindi ako sanay uh, mag-isa. Um, dahil ngayon, I'm living alone. Um, I don't have my family with me. So, ang ginagawa ko para maipsan yung Parang kalungkutan is I do workout, lumalabas ako, I do jogging, um, I do simple workouts at home um, para man lang kahit pa paano uh, maging okay ako and hindi magiging mababa yung energy ko. Okay? And next is switch the news off. Um, alam natin na sa ano, kailangan din natin maging updated as to what is happening around us. Um, dapat alam natin kung ilan yung numbers ng pandemic, I mean, yung mga COVID cases, mga ganito, and so on. But at the same time, hindi din siya okay. Um, lalo na yung virus ngayon, which is the Omicron. It's okay na alam natin. But dahil sa alam natin na mayroong bagong variant, medyo naapektuhan tayo, nagiging, ano naman tayo, nagiging... Parang ano ba yung term? Parang nagkaka, may mga tao na naman nagpapanik. Um, parang hindi nila alam ang gagawin. Ganito, ganyan, and so on. So parang at the same time, kahit ano man lang, okay lang naman magbasa ng news, but we should minimize. Kasi ang daming mga negative energy na nakikita natin sa social media. Maraming nakita tayong negative news sa, te- sa television na lumalabas na... Um, in- Instead na okay na tayo, since napanood natin to biglang nagbago na naman yung, um, yung mood natin, yung mentality natin. Okay? Uh, the sixth one is make time to meditate. Magkaiba siya sa work it out. Um, yung make time to meditate, ito yung mga yoga-yoga, um, yung mga parang kailangan mo din ng inner peace at the same time. Hindi lang yung parang work out, kasi sa work out is pinagpapawisan ka. But when you do meditation, yung um, mind mo talaga is yung naapektuhan dito. Ito yung nabibigyan ng, or ito yung work natin kapag nag-meditate tayo. Hindi yung katawan natin, but our mind or our brain. Okay? So, try to do this. Um, nakaka-help siya, especially yung mga students natin. Um, pag ginagawa to nila, mas nakakaisip ka ng mga um, initiatives, mas alam mo yung gagawin mo sa buhay and or gagawin mo the next day. Alright? Um, the seventh one would be start a gratitude journal. So dito, kailangan din natin maging thankful kahit pa paano. Um, alam ko sa nangyayari ngayon, um, like sa mundo natin, there are times na para ang hassle ng lahat, nagiging, magiging, nagiging mabigat ang lahat. But at the end of the day, parang hindi naman, um, parang hindi naman sa lahat ng panahon, hindi tayo dapat maging um, kind or parang pasalaman natin, natin yung mga ano, mga tao sa paligid natin, yung sumusuporta nat- sa atin, yung nangungusta sa atin, yung mga simpleng bagay. Kasi being kind, it's something na parang kaya natin gawin. Um, kaya natin gawin anytime or lahat naman ng tao pwedeng maging kind. But hindi sa lahat ng panahon kaya natin maging tama. 
Okay? So, pagiging kind, it's something power na kaya nating ibigay sa sa iba. So, appreciate little things. Um, kung meron kayong pagkain, appreciate nyo mga bagay na yun kasi hindi lahat ng tao may pagkain sa lamesa nila. Hindi lahat ng tao nakakapag um, may tatlong pagkain, may breakfast, may lunch, or may dinner. So, appreciate natin yung parents natin. Um, kung hindi natin sila na-appreciate before, then um, do it. Kasi um, if I am your parent or parang kung pasasalamatan ako ng anak ko, parang ang saya-saya ko. At the same time, mababawasan yung um, stress din ng mga magulang natin. Okay? Uh, the eighth one would be have a laugh. So it may feel wrong na parang sa panahon natin, tatawanan natin yung situation. But wala tayong magagawa. Um, we need to laugh dahil sa pagtawa natin, meron tayong parang nilalabas na positive energy. So yung humor yung mahalaga sa pagtawa, hindi yung tumawa ka, but it's the humor itself. Okay? So kailangan nating ano, yung pagtawa kasi meron siyang tinatawag na endorphins na ni-release when you giggle or help us to relieve the pain or help us relieve the the sadness that we are uh, feeling right now. Um it can be um It can help us relax the muscle, stimulate the circulation of your blood. Um, at the same time, ma relieve mo yung ano mas more relax ka kapag tumawa ka. Um, for us, laugh siguro mas okay yung manonood tayo ng mga funny videos or we talk to our friends na um maha mahilig mag joke maganon or mga walang pentang bagay na napapatawa tayo. Uh, mga ganon. Okay lang yun sa. Um, ako kasi mahilig ako sa manood ng mga funny videos compare sa mga news. Kasi nga, as I've mentioned, uh, madami ako nakikita sa social media na medyo napektahan ako na nagbabago din yung isip ko. Ang dami kong mga thoughts and opinions about it. But I don't want to dwell uh, to those things kasi alam ko ako din yung maapektuhan. Okay? Um, and then the night... Uh, tips uh, or tip would be the be kind to others. It's just same sa start a gratitude journal. So parang ganito, sinabi ko na na parang it's okay to be ano, um, kind kahit pa paano naman. Hindi naman sa lahat ng panahon um, kaya nating maging kind. But at least once in a while sa buhay natin, kung hindi pa natin nararanasan magbigay or maging um sa kapwa, subukan natin. Kasi kahit pa paano kapag nakapagbigay tayo sa kanila, um, parang ang saya-saya sa pakiramdam, ang gaan-gaan sa pakiramdam. Yung mga uh, walang pagkain, na parang sobrang pasasalamat sa atin, um, yung mga hindi marunong magbasa, yung mga kapatid natin na parang nahirapan sa module, natutulungan natin, medyo natutuwa sila because we were able to help them uh, sa mga pang-araw-araw nilang Uh, nadadanas or nararanasan. Okay? Um, so, yun lang naman yung tips na may bibigay ko. These are just nine, but in terms of tips, napakarami talaga. Parang sky is the limit, kumbaga. But I'm just giving you nine tips kasi ito na yung parang summary eh. Um, para maging okay tayo mentally, physically, and spiritually. Okay? So, kung gusto naman ng ano, ibang ways pa, you can. Um, ano pa ba? Um, cooking, um, sa mga mahilig sa music, you can do that. Um, you can start creating or composing, mga ganong bagay. If yun yung magpapasasayos para maging okay ka mentally, then do it. Um, pagiging plantita, plantito, kung mahilig ka sa halaman, nawawala yung stress mo sa pagtatanim, do it. Um, parang talking to friends or let's just say doing TikTok videos, uh, vlogging, if that would make you happy and that would Um, help you mentally then um, gawin nyo. Okay? So, kayo lang yung makapagsabi sa sarili nyo kung ano yung parang okay na gawin. Alright? Um, and then, um, before I'll end the ano, presentation, I have this quote here, uh, stay positive, better days are on the way. So, alam natin na every beginning has an end naman and lahat ng ending may bagong simula. May simula. So, alam natin na may pandemic ngayon but later on mawawala din to and magiging okay din ang lahat and babalik din tayo sa dati. Okay? So, enjoy lang natin kung ano yung 
meron tayo ngayon and let's just stay positive at all times. Right? And then I'll discuss to you na lang then the openings that we have at Inspiro. So we do have a lot of sites here in the Philippines. Uh, we do have site in Quezon City. So for the Quezon City site, we do have a work from home account. Um, this is for international floral account. Um, qualifications for our work from home account is at least high school grad or senior high school grad or college undergrad, of course. And then um, this is a work from home setup. So kailangan yung meron kayong PC or laptop um, internet connection. And then for our PASIG site, we have an opening for a local financial account. Um, as long as you are a college grad, so kung meron kayong uh, relatives or uh, mga friends na grad na wala pang trabaho, they can apply for the local financial account. So, hindi siya kailangang magaling mag-English as long as kaya nilang makipag-usap. Um, basic English communications will do. And then, um, okay din yung Tagalog communication skills. And then we also have the international financial account. Of course, for this one, since this is an international account, you need to be good when it comes to English communication skills, okay? But uh, for the educational attainment for the international financial account, as long as you are a senior high school grad or at least two years in college, then you are good for the international. Um, for Mandaluyong and Makati side, we have an opening for international satellite TV account. Uh, qualifications are at least uh, two years in college or senior high school grad or high school graduate with six months call center experience. And then for the communication skills uh, for the uh, TV account, we're looking for someone who has a good or excellent um, written and verbal communication skills. Now, for Dumaguete site, if you have relatives in Dumaguete, um, you can refer them for international financial account. Same for the PASIG site, at least senior high school grad or at least two years in college with or without experience. Now, for the local healthcare account, um, as long as they are graduate of any four-year course, medical course, like nursing, BS, uh, psychology, radio technology, um, Dentistry, physical therapy, they can apply for the healthcare account or um, at least two years in college with six months call center experience. Okay? And then for our Iloilo side, they have an opening for the international floral account. Same for the Quezon City side. At least high school graduate or senior high school grad for the floral account for Iloilo. Now, for the local travel account, at least uh, two years in college or four-year grad, um, average communication skills. Um, so if you guys wanted to apply for Inspiro, you can visit um, jobs180.com slash Inspiro. So that's it for me. Um, that's the end of my presentation, unless you do have questions. Thank you, Sir Kevin, for sharing. Actually, marami tayong tanong. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, Sir, ganito lang talaga ang audience kadalasan. Iniipon lahat ng tanong. Pagdating sa dulo, doon natin ibubuhos lahat. So, good for the... Good for you, Sir. <laughs> as a, as okay, last speaker. Okay, so mayroon pong tanong dito. Uh, Ipa-flash lang natin sa screen. No? Galing kay uh, John Retuya. Ayan. How... O, oh, teka lang. Teka, y yung... Isang tanong muna, teka. Nag-mix up eh. Ayan. Sabi niya, how will we make sure that we are practicing positive thinking and mindset but not pretending to be positive? Kasi may iba sa atin, di ba? <laughs> ano lang eh? Salita Parang lang eh. For the sake. Oo. Oh, kumbaga, all bark, no bite. <laughs> salita lang salita, pero hindi naman talaga napapractice. Ayan. So, yun yung tanong uh, niya. No? How do we make sure we can really practice it and apply it? Ayan. Ayan okay. sir. Um, siguro sir, I would answer that na parang, alam mo naman siguro sa sarili mo if you are faking it or not, di ba? Um, let's just say, let's just put ourselves sa ganyang situation. Bakit mo if you fake or bakit mo lolokohin yung sarili mo maging positive? Di ba? Kung pwede mo naman go seryosoin yung isang bagay. Um, kasi kapag parang pinapractice mo lang siya, then parang... What's the sense of practicing if you're not doing it um, holistically? Parang kung gagawin mo na lang din siya, then seryosohin mo na lang isang bagay. Don't practice such thing kung hindi mo naman mapapanindigan eh. Kasi may iba na parang ginagawa lang siya for the sake na parang sasabihin mo, ah, kumusta? Hindi naman siya nagiging... Um, hindi naman siya everyday or hindi siya napapanindigan. Um, kung gagawin mo ang isang bagay na... Um, kung gagawin mo lang din naman siya, gawin mo na siya everyday or gawin mo na lang din siya 
na parang consistent lang sir ganun yes. lang may and kita habit no may naman kita na habit. ano hindi ka pretending kung okay ka naman talaga eh kasi um sabi ko nga kanina positive energy attracts positive energy kung gusto mo tulungan yung mga tao sa paligid mo then sa sarili mo pa lang start being positive na tama tama kita niyo naman si sir ano sir Kevin kitang-kita no sa ka workout niya <laughs> healthy healthy siya ngayon Diba na mention niya na workout doon niya dinadaan ng kanyang mga negative stress. energy no sa uh, stress niya sa pag-workout. Diba? So workout lang kayo ng workout, 'di ba? Huwag tayong masyado maging uh, alam ko yung sir yung gusto niya sabihin yung masyadong negative nagiging praning. <laughs> Ayun, yes, diba? I, I I agree. I totally I agree. You, you watch the news, you open your social media, halos halos I think lang ah, halos karamihan no more than half of what you read. These are either patawa-tawa, yung iba naman puro negative. Kaya nga nauso si Marites at saka si Marisol, di ba? <laughs> Naging character ngayon, di ba? Dahil nga sa mga ganyang issue. Eh, kasi masaya pakinggan eh, at masayang sikahan. Anyway, so another thing that we'd, we'd like to share, ito, uh, tanong ulit ni Sir John. Ito yung tanong niya kanina. Ha, um, we know how important it is to form chemistry, di ba, within the group. Di ba? Lalo na ngayon, since we are all in the virtual setting. Now, however, ang tanong niya dito is... Uh, Because of the setting that we have, virtual tayo, how do we really make sure that we can form connection na hindi tayo nakikita face-to-face? That's that's how, how my understanding is of the question. Ha? So if you have a different interpretation, then feel free lang to, to ano, correct me lang. Ayan. Yan po yung tanong niya. Ayan po. Any tips okay. po, sir? Mm-hmm. Um, sa akin, sir, ano, um, again, ilalagay ko lang din yung sarili ko um, sa tanong niya. Kasi I, with my team, kasi I'm handling um, 10 specialists. So meron akong Uh, Maka member. I'm not from Manila. I'm actually from Dumaguete. Uh, I just relocated here in Manila and hindi ko pa sila nakikita. But when it comes to bonding, nung pumunta ako dito sa Manila, parang meron na kami pinagsamahan because um, yung ginawa namin is, yes, virtually ang ginagawa namin. So as much as possible, siguro yung connection nyo or yung communication nyo with each other should be consistent. Um, kung sa, meron kayong as much as possible, gumawa kayo ng group chat or uso yung parang isang application. I'm not familiar. Nakalimutan ko yung, uh, uh, ano, yung application na yun. Wherein they are sending memes, um, uh, conversation or videos, yung mga uh, parang buhay nila, nag-video call sila. Something like that. That is something that we are doing. Um, nag-video call kami at the end of the day. Um, naglalaro kami ng ML, nanonood kami ng Netflix ng sabay. <laughs> so hindi siya nangyayari na nanonood talaga kami kasi more on um, pag-uusap na lang. So nasisira yung panonood ng movie. So if they can do those things, that would help them to connect and to bond. Yung bonding yun, kahit hindi kayo nakikita personally, uh, mararamdaman nyo yan. Eh. If masaya kang kausap sila daily, then that's bonding already. May nararamdaman ka na na, kahit hindi kayo nakikita, alam mo sa sarili mo na may connection na kayo. Ganun ba? Very, very, very good suggestion, sir. In fact, ito yung mga first time na, na realize ko. Oo nga naman, ano, pwede pala tayo manood ng Netflix ng sabay-sabay. <laughs> kahit, <laughs> oo yes, nga naman, no? Kahit na series pa yan. Kahit na mga Korean series na pinapanood But natin. Magdang kayo yung iba, sir. Oo, oo, sabay-sabay rin tayo tatawa, sabay-sabay tayo iiyak. <laughs> At sabay-sabay tayo mag-aasaran, di ba? Yan. Oo, totoo, sir. No, sir, um, hindi, hindi naman puro TikTok yung app, ano? <laughs> Kasi yung sinasabi mong anong app yung sabi ko, ah, TikTok ba yan? Dahil, biro lang. <laughs> you, 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 mentioned, oh, you mentioned earlier that, uh, you know, you can do a lot of things to, to divide your attention to, di ba? And, and to have a well-balanced, uh, nakaspread yung balance atin spiritually, physically, mentally, di ba? Lahat yan, no? Pwede mm-hmm. natin spread out. But we only have 24 hours a day. I mean, in a day, no? we only have 24 hours. So kahit, kahit saan tayo pumunta, yun lang din talaga ang oras na meron natin, 24 hours. Now, my question, what I wanted to ask is, given that you also need to, syempre, take care of yourself, you need to sleep and have some, you know, your hygiene and, and all that, yung rest mo, at least 8 hours, or iba sa atin, malakas talaga matulog, 10, 12 hours, <laughs> tulog pa rin, di ba? So that's already practically half the day, tulog pa. So, how do you, how do you now recommend that we divide? Or meron po ba kayong ma- may share na parang formula or pie kung paano natin hahati-hatiin yung uh, balance natin sa pagiging spiritual, pagiging uh, mentally fit, at saka physically fit na rin. Ganun. So paano natin, meron ba kayong ganong formula, sir? Ayan. Kasi baka yung iba sa kanila, narinig lang nila, uy, kailangan ko mag-distress. 
TikTok daw ang solusyon. Eh, buong araw na nag-TikTok. <laughs> Diba? At minsan, di ba, very addicting, no? When you look at these apps, nag-ML, yan, maghapon na nag-ML. No? Huwag tayo magtrabaho, ML na lang kasi nga. <laughs> Or habang nagtatrabaho, naglalaro. Di ba, may mga ganun. So, do you have a formula to to recommend, sir? Ayan. Um, para sa akin, sir, ano, um, hindi ko siya masasabing formula, but siguro isipin mo, first is, ano, sasabihin ko muna is time management. Um, importante talaga yung paano mo ibabalance yung time mo, um, saan mo ilalagay yung pagtulog, pagkain, paglalaro. Um, kung meron kang work, syempre, um, let's just say, deduct na siya sa 24 hours natin, automatic. So, kung meron tayong um, 8 hours, ang mati- I mean, 24 hours, matitara na lang sa atin is 16 hours. So, how would you uh, divide the 16 hours remaining? So, para sa akin, hindi siya formula, but ano yung mga kailangan ko on a daily basis para uh, mentally, physically, uh, magiging okay ako? First, siguro kailangan ko yung... Um, enjoyment. Uh, kailangan meron kang bagay na mag enjoy sa yon. So, first, kailangan mo yan. Second is family. Stay in contact with your family. Kasi yung ginagawa ko, um, kahit one hour or 30 minutes is nakikipag-video ko lang or nakikipag-usap ako sa family ko. So, parang relieve ako na okay sila, um, aware sila na okay ako. So, mentally, hindi ka na mag-iisip sa kanila, hindi ka na mapapraning kung ano nangyayari sa kanila. Third is um, yung rest mo. Um, kailangan mo din ilagay yung rest mo um, sa panahon na yan. And then lastly, um, yung spiritually, sir, hindi naman doesn't mean na kailangan mong magdasal. Um, kay, ano na siya, parang hindi ibig sabihin na kailangan mong magsimba everyday, hindi kailangan na magdasal ka everyday, um, okay ka na spiritually. Hindi naman siya ganun talaga. Um, spiritually, when you say spiritually, as long as you have um, pananampalataya lang talaga, as long as you have trust na parang alam mo kung bakit nangyari itong mga ganitong bagay. So mga ganun, parang magiging, alam ko magiging okay ka physically, mentally, and emotionally kapag nababalas mo talaga. Um, lagay mo yung sarili mo, um, pamilya mo, at saka yung, of course, yung God natin. Sa relationship. Kumbaga, it's a well-balanced relationship. No? Yan ang, yes, yan ang importante across all. Okay. Um, sir, meron tayong, uh, as promised, diba? lahat nga ng mga tanong ng audience, ibabato natin sa inyo. So, <laughs> meron tayong isang tanong dito, sir, um, earlier, from Sir Renato. Uh, so let me put it on the screen lang. Ayan. Uh, hindi pa lumalabas eh. Hindi pa lumalabas. Sige, banggitin, basahin ko na lang. So sabi niya dito, uh, kanina may nabanggit kasi doon sa isang speaker talking about MECQ, no? yung mga quarantine ano natin, uh, alert levels, yan, et cetera, about that. Now ito yung tanong niya, bakit po doon daw sa Jollibee at Chowking, nag-mention siya, no? so babasahin ko lang, no? uh, bakit po doon sa Jollibee and Chowking, kapag hindi ka daw fully vaccinated, hindi ka nila papapasukin sa loob? No, pero kapag uh, nakapagtataka doon, yung irony of it is that may mga upuan naman sa labas mismo ng pintuan. Okay, kung saan doon kumakain at doon of course pumupuesto yung mga hindi fully vaccinated. So yung tanong dito ni Sir Renato, meron po ba silang nilalabag na protocol? Yan. Okay. May, may idea po ba kayo dito, Sir? Yan. So, um okay. siguro Sir ano, yung experience ko one time, um hindi naman siya totally ano. Hindi, siguro yung ibig niyang sabihin na hindi ka papasukin, siguro yung hindi ka makakadine in sa loob. Kasi kung kumakain sila sa labas, paano sila makaka-order, mga ganun. So ang alam ko... Sa labas na mag-order, sa labas na rin. Kasi ang alam ko, ano eh, um, ang ginagawa talaga nila is naka-line, um, there's a specific line for those who are not fully vaccinated wherein they can order. And kung hindi sila um, fully vaccinated, parang naka-separate area. Though, parang matatawag natin siya na discrimination. Let's just say, call it discrimination kasi may fully and um, partially um, vaccinated, vaccinated naman. And which is, hindi naman talaga natin fault yung hindi tayo nabakunahan ng maaga, mga ganung bagay. Pero we just need to, ano na lang siguro, um, understand uh, the establishments kasi we have some protocols that we follow or na sinusunod nila, uh, mandated by the government or IATF na kailangan din nila sundan. Kasi if they will not follow those regulations or laws, um, sila din yung maapektuhan. Um, kapag nangyari yun, mas maraming ano, um, parang siguro let's just give way kasi maapektuhan yung mga taong nagtatrabaho ng maayos. So, 
as much as possible, sumunod na lang tayo. And kung sa t- gusto mo naman talaga kumain, gutom ka na, then as long as there's a chair, may table naman na, uh, and binibigyan kayo ng chance kumain, then parang let's just appreciate na lang siguro. Doon na lang tayo sa alfresco, kung tawag. Oh, yes. Sa labas. <laughs> mahangin. <laughs> oh, mahangin. Pinaganda lang nila, alfresco na lang. Uh-huh. Ito, kidding aside lang, ha? I mean, uh, just to add to, 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 to humor lang, Marami naman po ibang uh, pwedeng establishment na pagpilian. Mm. No, hindi lang naman po Jollibee at Chow King. Just sure, sharing sure. lang sa Renato. But here, meron pong bumubulong dito eh. Isa, babasahin ko lang, no? Uh, sure. Meron po kayong reference na pwede. Kasi tin- tinanay ko na rin i-research earlier about this question. So you can you can check on the Republic Act 11.525. Uh, Yan. 11.11.525. You can check out that Republic Act. Meron po doon nakasaad yung mga mga invitation about the COVID-19 policies. Now, to, to, to simplify lang, meron dito mas latest. Ito, kakapasok lang. Pasahin na rin natin. So, uh, there in, in that article, you also find the complete list of prohibited activities for unvaccinated individuals. Which I hope hindi naman ito sana makadiscriminate. Pero ito yung nakalagay doon. Uh, they should remain inside their homes except when buying essential goods, going to work, and other essential activities. Uh, these unvaccinated individuals are banned from dining in. Uh, other social and leisure travel, such as going to malls, is also prohibited. Uh, they are barred from domestic travels using public transportation, land, air, and sea, except when procuring essential goods. However, oh, ito yung malaking however. However, uh, the new rules were subject to finalization since the local government units were encouraged to create local ordinances to enforce the guidelines. So, ang dami kong binasa, ito lang yung long story. <laughs> long story short na itong kasabihan natin, or I mean, yung, yung sinasabi ng article is that you can check out your local uh, community kung meron pong uh, implementation sa local government natin, sa ating mga LGU, kasi may kanya-kanya pong area, iba-iba rin po yung uh, senaryo ng ating COVID cases. Kung napapansin nyo, diba, may iba alert level 3, may iba naman, mas, mas maluwag ng kaunti, may iba bukas ang sinehan. Diba? So, kayo na lang po, no, uh, mag-research din about it. No, yan lang yun sa akin. Now, sabi nga ni Sir Kevin, I agree, kung talagang gusto nyo kumain dun sa establishment na yun at bawal pumasok, dun na lang tayo sa labas mag-enjoy ng alfresco dining. Ayan, fresh air pa. Okay? So, uh, with that, sir, um, teka lang, titignan lang natin ulit ang audience. Baka meron pa silang ibang question dyan. Parang auction lang to ulit. Okay? Going once. Uy, ena, meron nga. Going once pa lang ako. Meron na humirit. Si Ma'am Ronaline uh, Masadre, ito yung question niya. Um, what if yung nakakapagpasaya sa kanya, ah, ano to? Ah, okay. What if yung nakapagpapasaya dun sa tao, ay nakakaapekto negatively sa mga nakakasalamuhan niya. Sino po yung dapat mag-adjust? Okay. So, there's like, it's like person A and person B. Okay. Ayan, sige, sir. Para ano, wait lang, parang in what way siya maapektohan? Kasi siguro, kung... sa, siguro yung pinapasaya niyang tao, sir, in a way, siya naman niya tayo naapektohan negatively. Diba? Pa- parang gano'n yung the way ko nitindihan na. Ayan, eh. Kasi what if kung yung nakapagpapasaya sa kanya ay nakapag- nakapekto naman negatively dun sa na- mga nakasalamuhan niya. Or oh. maybe the people that uh, the person is uh, surrounded surrounded with. Diba? Dun siya nagiging negative. Hmm. Ayun. Siguro ano sir, um, pag ano ko lang din, kung sa tingin mo na ano, yung nagpapasaya sa'yo would affect others, then siguro kailangan mong ano, mag-adjust. Kung mas titingnan mo yung volume ng maapektuhan. Kung ano naman, kung sa tingin mo maraming tao ang maapektuhan dahil sa sa actions mo, then learn to adjust. Um isipin natin yung number 1 versus 2. Kung ano yung mas ano, nakakabuti sa mas marami, then yun yung susundin na lang po natin. Parang ganoon siya. Ayan. Oh, so it's a numbers game, no? Si Sir Kevin Tiwala ako sa numbers niyan kasi kanina sabi niya 24 hours minus 8 hours. Alam niya kagad 16 hours eh. So naniniwala ako kay Sir Kevin. Importante po ang numbers. That ni base rin. Kung mas marami pa maapektuhan positively, then by all means, you may we're, you're encouraging you to do it. Pero kung nakita niyo negative ang uh, effect nito, then mas maisip, ma, magbago na lang po tayo ng ating direction. No? Let's, let's think about it. Yung approach okay. siguro sir. Siguro kailangan mm-hmm. lang baguhin. Yes, ayan. Very well said, Sir Kevin. Ayan, so auction tayo ulit. Oh, guys, may tanong pa ba kayo? Going once, going twice, 
Ayan, kung wala na, meron tayong last na lang, no? Last sir, uh, parting words natin. Ano po yung pwede nyo ma-recommend pagdating po sa adjustment? Kasi everyone adjusted from face-to-face -face setting papunta sa virtual. And right now, yun nga, sabi nga ng previous speaker kanina, ito na yung new normal. Diba? I mean, tayo okay. lahat napunta tayo sa new normal kung saan eh, we're doing everything virtually. Oh. So later on, we're very optimistic no? na later on, we're going back to the so-called old normal or what we call is the now normal or new normal na to. At bumalik man tayo sa face-to-face, -face, what are the tips that you can share naman para reverse naman siya? How do we adjust later on? Diba? Kasi I'm sure in the, in the last one, two years, nakapag-adjust na tayo eh. Diba? We're doing a lot of things online, we're buying stuff online, lahat no? Pati friendship natin, nabubuo na nga sa online. <laughs> yes. So, paano, di ba? Iba sa atin, di natin marunong makapagkita. Paano pa pa tayo shake hands and all that? But anyway, I'll leave it to you, sir. Ano pong tips ninyo para tayo ay uh, makapag-adjust in later on sa pagbumalik tayo sa face-to-face? -face? Okay po. Sa akin, sir, ano, um, kasi nga, ano, hindi talaga lahat is permanent. Um, masasabi ko lang, learn to let go slowly. Gaya ng ginawa natin virtually, yung pag-adjust natin from the um, virtual world, parang ginawa natin is hindi naman tayo dumiretso na virtual agad, marunong na tayo and everything, nasanay tayo. But uh, pa konti konti masasanay ka din. So kung sa tingin mo nagiging okay na yung paligid, nagiging okay na yung mundo, then learn to let go slowly sa ganitong situation. Learn to go out uh, slowly, learn to communicate with friends physically. Again, um, kahit yung paunti-unti lang, hindi mo naman kailangan biglain yung sarili mo. Siguro yun lang talaga yung masasabi ko, sir. Um, slowly, lahat ng bagay um, mangyayari at mangyayari din po. Tama. Okay. Thank you, Sir Kevin. Um, para po sa mga interesado po maging part ng Inspiro, um, saan po sila pwede, uh, kaya yung nearest na pwede lang mapuntahan or ma-applyan na site ng, ng Inspiro? Um, here in Luzon, sir, we do have uh, four sites in Quezon City. One in Quezon City, which is located in Welcome Rotonda. Uh, second is in Pasig, which is located in ADB Building uh, at the back of Ortigas, Robinson Ortigas. And then the third one, which is in Mandaluyong naman po. Uh, saan ba malapit si Mandaluyong? Malapit siya sa ano din, um, EDSA. Um, EDSA. Near EDSA lang, mga five minutes away from EDSA. Uh, and then uh, the fourth one, which is located in Makati, which is Insular Building in Makati, uh, near Makati Avenue lang po. Okay, meanwhile, sir, um, since medyo challenging pa yung travel ngayon, are you open to hire para virtual lang setting? Yes po sir, uh, we're doing uh, everything virtually, um, including the initial interview down to final interview. They don't have to visit the site po for the application. Yun na, narinig nyo na guys. Yan na yung pinaka magic word na narinig natin. You don't have to visit the site. Diba? From start to end ng process nila, from screening all the way to hiring, everything is done virtually. So what I recommend, you guys check out the link that is being scrolled right now. Nagsuscroll dyan. Uh, go to jobs180.com slash inspiro. Okay, you can also check out uh, other opportunities dun sa school uh, portal ninyo, sa schools.jobs180.com slash dmmmsu. Okay? So again, thank you, Sir Kevin, for uh, joining us in today's uh, webinar. We look forward to have you again. Uh, in the near future sa mga susunod natin mga events. Thank okay. you. Okay. Po. Salamat po. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. So now, guys, eto na. Kung may tanong pa kayo, itpasok na lang yung tanong nyo. At ipo-forward natin yung mga tanong na yan sa mga gusto nyong uh, speaker. No? Yung mga question na yan. Sa mga, sakali lang, may mga last minute pa rin talaga kayong uh, gusto itanong. Now, to officially close our program, uh, may we invite the Campus Guidance and Counseling Coordinator of uh, DMMMSU, uh, South uh, SLOC, no? South La Union Campus. Uh, may we invite uh, Miss uh, Cecilia Sanchez. Ayan, si Ma'am Cecilia. Ma'am Ezil! Yes! Yay! So, uh, I'll, I'll leave you with this, ano, with the stage. I'll see you in a while. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Kim Chua. Pero, ano, I stand corrected. Hindi na po ako ang <laughs> ang coordinator ng um, uh, Campus Guidance and Counseling Unit, si Dr. Emelda Coloma. But then, uh, okay lang po. Okay. To our dear president of DIMSU, Dr. Jaime Ipac Manuel Jr., our chancellor of South London Campus, Dr. Joanne Camus Rivera, 
the different deans of DIMSU South La Union Campus, we have Dr. Nona Rivera from the College of Education, Dr. Raquel Kiambao, the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, uh, okay, Dr. Ginny R. Mamhot, Dean, College of Fisheries, Dr. Gaudelia C. Villanueva, College of Agriculture, Professor Darwin C. Liabore, College of Computer Science, and Professor Gabriel Bakungan, Dean of the College of Community Health and Allied Medical Sciences, or CCHAMS. To our SAS head, Ms. Joanne P. Rulia, and our college SAS facilitators, who took time to assist me in disseminating the webinar and the registration link. Thank you so much. My colleagues in the guidance and counseling unit headed by the uh, guidance coordinator, Dr. Emelda Colonna, Ms. Angelita Dumundon, our guidance counselor, and Ms. Heidi Buado, our guidance assistant, and Mr. Michael Duhan. A pleasant Friday morning to all of us. To our partners in this activity, jobs180.com, thank you so much again and again. To our, to the managing director of jobs180.com and also the host for today's activity, Mr. Kim Chu Wa. To our resource speakers this morning, thank you very much, Ms. Sherry Aquino, the sourcing manager of TASAS, who discuss about communication skills, which is really very important in applying for jobs. Ms. Cathy Claire Velasquez, the recruitment supervisor of CDO Foodsphere, who talk about top skills companies look for when hiring fresh graduates. Ms. Chrissy Chokson, the talent acquisition officer of VXI for the TAPI No Normal World of Work. And Mr. Kevin Beruasa for the mental health checks. Thank you so much. This activity, itong job hunting webinar, will not really be successful without the participation of you, our dear graduating students. So in behalf of the seminar holders, the jobs180.com and the career and placement services of the guidance and counseling unit under the Career and uh, under the Student Affairs and Services of DIMSU SLUC, I would like to thank you all for taking an active part in today's activity, Job Hunting Webinar Second Series. The webinar was formally started with an opening remark from our very own program coordinator of the UMS, Professor Maria Elena Milan and followed by the webinar proper. Preparing you, our dear students, in the world of work after graduating from DIMSU is the most important goal of the career and placement services under the Student Affairs Services. This webinar series about job hunting is brought to you in partnership with Jobs 180, which aim for you to be fully equipped with skills, knowledge and information duly important in applying for jobs with or without pandemic. So remember, to accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream, not only plan, but also believe. Because education is our passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. So please prepare yourself before leaving the portals of DIMSU SLUC. If you don't go after what you want, you'll never have it. If you don't ask, the answer is always no. If you don't step forward, you're always in the same place. So good luck and advance happy graduation. Thank you, DIMSU. Thank you, Jobs 180. See you again in more webinars. Thank you. Thank you, Sir Kim. 
Thank you, Ma'am Ezil, and uh, I, I apologize. I stand corrected. Uh, kailangan na po namin i-update yung ating uh, uh, information. Sorry po, Ma'am, about it earlier. But again, thank you for uh, the collaboration. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so guys, um, don't forget to evaluate this event. No, uh, we're approaching the closing now of this uh, event, pero kailangan pa po natin to gawin. Paki-evaluate lang po. The link is flash on your screen. It is also available in the comment section. You can check it out. Okay, kung di kayo kanina nag-feed ng mga questions, eh, I hope naman sana kayo ay makapag-sagot uh, uh, na evaluation na ito. Okay, so we'd like to thank each one of you guys for staying all throughout the event, especially those who came in early. Yung mga simula, ang gandulo, hindi bumitaw. Maraming salamat po. Sa mga nandyan po, pumasok in the middle, salamat pa rin. No? Nag-stay kayo all throughout till the end. If you want to watch the replay of this uh, event, you can check us out sa Facebook at saka sa YouTube. We hope that the webinar helped you. Okay? We were able to prepare you in the world of work. It is okay to fail. Okay lang naman. No? Wala naman perfectong tao. Lahat ay nagkakamali. So if ever that happens and when you fail, just stand up and try again. Okay? We'd like to thank again uh, Don Mariano Memorial uh, State University. Uh, Don Mariano Marcos Memorial State University. Okay? That's D-M-M-M-S-U. Uh, Career and Placement Guidance Services uh, Center Office, especially kay Ma'am Ezil for the collaboration of this event to make this a successful event. This is already our part two. Okay? So we're looking forward to have another one sometime soon. And we'd like to thank also the our corporate sponsor, si Optum. You can check them out. Uh, may video tayo. And then you can also check out the opportunities for Optum at jobs180.com slash Optum. At hindi lang si Optum. We also like to thank also the companies who uh, presented for today. Check them out. Yung mga opportunities nila. Jobs180.com slash task us. You can also check out jobs180.com slash CDO. Check out jobs180.com slash VXI. And check out jobs180.com slash Inspiro okay, for opportunities. Now, kung nabitin kayo, pwede pa kayo pumunta sa schools.jobs180.com slash DMM. MSU for more opportunities. Okay? So just an announcement lang. Please watch out for the next set of webinars. We're doing this uh, with more than 400 plus colleges, university partners that we have. So check us out no? uh, sa facebook.com slash jobs on 80. Andun din po tayo sa youtube.com slash jobs on 80 for the topics that we'll be discussing later on. Okay? You are you are welcome to join all these sessions. Okay? Wala pong bayad ito. Libre po ang learning natin. Okay? So the program has finally concluded. Uh, this is your host. <laughs> Again, I'm doing the hosting for today because uh, parami pong mga nangyayari left and right. Uh, at importante po, maging healthy tayo, mag-ingat po tayo. Okay, we'll see you soon. Have a great day ahead. Thank you. The clinical trial market as we know it is about to change. We're revolutionizing the current state aligned to disparate, slow, and often manual processes. Optum's vision is to transform the drug development process to one that is centered and grounded in real-world patient behavior and physician practice. Optum's ability to access this unique network and fold in the strongest data and analytics expertise will enable us to jointly bring life-saving drugs to the patients who need it most. Join us in this partnership to bring our shared vision for real-time, real-world healthcare research for real patients.